Ed's out today. We got Jim Norton, of course. We got Nick DiPaolo. And we got Mustard trying to figure it out outside the damn studio. But Stephen S. from Bayshore, bravo to you uh, today, sir. He writes, Opie's dreams of managing a star are collapsing like a Haitian village. <laughs> oh, come on. I have relatives over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stephen S. also writes, homeless and now songless. That's terrific. That's just terrific. What happened there, Jimmy? I don't know. He just got a little nervous, I think. What were you thinking when he was when he was going down? Uh, Did you have an uh-oh moment? No, I wasn't surprised. I mean... Then goes to the bathroom outdoors. It's kind of you know, not surprising that his guitar skills are waning. <laughs> he could have you know, tough. He couldn't remember what he wanted to say. I was so happy because I that story's right, right? That's how the yeah. that happened. What hey, we got to say hi to Nick. Nick DePaulo here. To Nick DePaulo. And we were we were in uh, Houston. Yeah. Where uh, you know, and uh, the guy who picked us up said that Nick, you stayed at the place. And something about nothing happened. It was just that Nick was in his towel or half naked. I ordered room service. Oh, yeah, I ordered room service, and they said a half hour. So I get in the shower, and not not even like fourteen minutes later, for the first time in my life, there somebody's not early. Yeah. yeah. So I open the door, and it's like this twenty-two year old smoking, like Russian. I mean, smiles. <laughs> And I'm in my towel, and I'm all, but she and she's not even like being shy. She's kind of like looking at me with a smirk on her face. Yeah. And I was just saying, what do you do? Jimmy, what do you, what do you, what do you, well, the, I, mean, the, 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 I can't do anything, I'm married. The, but the guy told us that story, doing. he goes, yeah, it was kind of cool. And I just said, ah, it's bullshit, he tells that story in every city. There's always a Russian girl. And he's like, really? He's like, I believed him. I'm like, yeah, he was just lying. So me and Kenny, for no reason, just made up the fact that we pretended that you lied and just threw you under the bus. <laughs> like it was this story you no. made up. <laughs> no, it, and it's not, it's always... <laughs> I've been doing it on the road twenty years. I've never. It's always like a sixty-five-year-old Mexican yeah. guy brings my food. Sure. Yeah. What do I do? Yeah, never. A used, hot, to, used to be young. a Haitian guy. You know. I'll tell you used what to I be do. Russian stripper. I take my finger and I well, crook I'm, it and I unhook it <laughs> <laughs> and I go, "Whoops, a Daisy." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. If I thought I thought this story was going to end uh, that uh, Nick is the guy that orders room service or waits for the maid no. and he's naked on the bed shirt. Get off. Another comic who said that when the maid comes, she goes, "Finally." That's it's exciting. Fucking whatever comedian right. goes, yeah, I was naked and the maid walked in. Yeah, finally, like that's <laughs> a great show. <laughs> but there are guys that actually do that, and uh, Danny was showing us the videos, a montage of of maids walking in as the guys jerking off. But he, but the guy sets it up ahead of time. It, it's his thing. He, he gets turned on by this. Fucking, I thought you were going to be one of those guys. No, no. But I just like tell. I just like saying that Nick made it up because it was such a thing that you wouldn't make up, like unless you're a fucking psychopath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I you know, and I. It's funny because on stage I'd ask, I go, girls, well, you know, of course when I'm, I go, well, girls. What, what, what you have? And then you get all these are girls in the audience. You're like, you should have dropped your time. Yeah, yeah. And then you would have been, you know, lawsuit, rape, divorce. Right. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help. Or maybe just a oh. quiet blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have those instincts anymore. Like, right. well, I do, but I have to hide them. But uh, yeah, uh, I can't lose a house. I told Christ. I told Nick just before he came on air with us, and Puddle of AIDS is saying the same thing. Nick was fucking awesome filling in for Dan Patrick. It would be highly ad advisable to get him his own show on the virus, lunch or dinner show. Yeah, yeah that would be nice if they would pay someone else around here. <laughs> they pay one guy, and everyone else has to kind of fight for the scraps. Because we, we have all the guys that could fill this channel with some fine programming, but they just That's don't want right. to pay anybody. That's true, isn't it? They so, just don't want to pay no then nobody. Who is Dan Patrick, and where did you fill in for him? Who's I know Dan the name. Patrick. Yeah, I know the name. Well, okay. he's a sports center guy. Oh, he's a sport. I thought so. Okay. Yeah, I, and, and then he left for his own thing. Does he do a good show? I don't even know. Yeah, actually, he does a and he's, show. Got, he's got like three or four young guys, you know, like sports fanatics. First of all, the studio is at like in a small town, in Connecticut, right? It's like a man. They had that man cave company come to this. You know, oh, really? Yeah, redo yeah, yeah. you, and they we'll said, re "Redo yeah. your basement." So I go in there. It really is. It's like a man's paradise. It's an actual bar, working bar. There's beautiful leather furniture, exposed brick, flat screen TVs everywhere. It's like huge. It's like three, what? three of these. With a glass partition in the middle, and the three or four producers are on the other side of the glass. Sure. And there's memorabilia, you know, pictures of him with everybody. Wow. From, but it's like, it's like, what a place to go to work, you know? And uh, it's not a bad idea. It, we should have them do something with this piece of shit. In man video. cave, it'll be a gaping asshole they'll turn this place into. <laughs> <laughs> One big glory hole. It was, it was fun to, to be, you know, talking sports and. Uh, for how long did you do it? Two, I, two days. I okay. saw it for him. How so, many hours? Three. 
Oh, that's nice. No, it was beautiful. Three hours is perfect. And with guys chiming in, yeah, which is... Yeah, it goes no. fast. Like, yeah. if we had a three-hour show, we don't almost be done, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> this well, four-and-a-half, five-hour show. Is that what you're doing? Well, six to ten thirty. Yeah, but we cheat here and there, you know. We, I hope we, so. We, yeah. we sneak a little here and there, you know. Yeah. The quality is finished by eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> two, two and a half filler. filler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot of... Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> so, uh, what's the temperature? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of McGuire speaking sports? Though, oh, I hate him even more now. First, you're a liar. Now you're a fucking crybaby. Six foot five, two hundred eighty pounds of <laughs> sniffing. There's how to tell. Now I can't. You know, he made me sick in front of the Congress when he, you know, oh, testified. Yeah. I, I only want to look forward. That ah. like, what stupid. See how privileged he thought he was? Now you cry in front of you. When you stop with mm -hmm. that shit, you're literally like a little kid crying because you want to get something. You want to be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking shameless. He's trying to protect his image, I understand, but at least don't cry. What image? Don't cry on us. Well, the image is, is being ruined by the day. And we were talking about the steroid thing the other day, uh, and they keep saying Tony La Russa didn't know. It's like, oh, really? Uh, the, the manager of the team that's probably obsessive about everything doesn't realize his guys are getting bigger and bigger and their stats are getting better and yeah. better. McGuire's got zits on his back like <laughs> right, frisbees. Right. He doesn't see him in the locker room. <laughs> oh, what's that fucking hubcap mark on you? He's got what looks like hives all over his body, but that's, that's you know not I mean? hives. Especially an overmanager like Tony La Russa. Lefty, lefty! Righty, righty! Righty, the stats! The stats! I should put left! He left me! Got it! He's a lawyer! He's a fucking liar! Is he really opinion. a lawyer? Is he, is yes. he a lawyer? He's a Yuck. lawyer and he's a fucking PETA, one of those PETA left wing animal loving. Mm. A great baseball guy. What happened? Anyway. You I'm turned just... off your own mic, uh, Nick. You alright? No, there's buttons. There's, there's buttons. buttons. Your shit. I say buttons. Alright, I got your back on. Oh. <laughs> you're, buttons. You're hitting things. <laughs> what is this? Who designed this? Who put that there? <laughs> I told you, yeah. to, I told you to put the buttons where they're not going to fall. Get away my kids! <laughs> Yank! <laughs> Look, things could be worse. Yeah. He, could in, he could be in Haiti right now. You know what? Someone came up with a pretty good idea on the phones the other day. They said every team should have one guy they designate to juice That's to be not on a the bad idea. to be they on the steroids. Kind of like, the, are you a DJ? hockey fan or not? Really? I, I used to love it, not as much anymore. Because it's getting kind of, kind of. Uh, what girly? Yeah, yeah kind of girly. Long time ago. Long time ago. Kind of girly, but every team used to have an enforcer. Yeah. So Major League Baseball have one guy that just juices and gets as big as he possibly can, and, and it's legal. But the kids, Opie, the kids. Oh, the kids. Well, that's what I'm talking. That's a yeah. time you're living in, man, and it, it it's <laughs> fucking envelops everything. <laughs> oh, Uncle Paul. I no, I got the, I got the nephews playing the sports, and I don't, you know, whatever. Huh? Your kids? Are... No, I got. I mean, I'm. I don't care. I, I mean, if, if they're going to, you know, uh, make us pay so much money to see these sporting events, you want to see some monsters out there, Look, right? As far as football goes, they should be mandatory juicing. Well, I like them. Come on, football fast, violent. The faster, the bigger, the more violent. Yeah. yeah I mean, the hits are getting fucking uglier and uglier, man. Good. That's how it should who, be. Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. I know. <laughs> Are you? Big, uh, you're not a big Patriots fan. Of course I am. I grew up in the seventies watching when they stunk. Mm -hmm. And uh, are they done? The dynasty is officially over. Oh, well, that's baloney. The way fucking players change teams, you know, every year. That, that's you never out of Don't it. you hate people that can't give good examples? They change teams the way most people change the, the hat bands. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 I think it over overexcited. Just can't come up with the example. Yeah, like. Breakfast coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Belichick wear the pom pom? That, that the winter hat with the pom pom. And the old, uh, had the old uh, emblem on it. Oh, I the see old that. Patriots. The guy hiking the ball. Yeah, yeah. That's when they really suck. They were bending over. Uh, but uh, who's gonna? I don't know. I think you're gonna see. Uh, I think you're gonna see. Uh... Jets. No, I think uh, in, Indiana, Indianapolis. Uh, you can't push for my Jets just a little I, bit. No, I, I'm. I kind of like the Jets. Indianapolis and Minnesota. I want to see Dallas Jets. Dallas Jets. Oh, what a great matchup! But I'd love to see that. That would be. It was uh, 1974. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, did you go to the Winter Classic? Someone's saying you did. No, I didn't. Oh, you did. I, I couldn't. Where was I? But. Uh, that looked fucking great. Oh, fuck yeah, I wanted to go. The, the company just ignored my request. Dennis they Harry have hockey skated. here too. And they wouldn't, and they wouldn't get you a ticket for the Winter Classic. I don't know. They never even acknowledged that I, you know, wanted to go. <laughs> it's not looking good for renegotiations. <laughs> no, not at all. Not looking good. <sighs> Your boy, huh? Oh, oh my... Jay, yeah, man. What do you think of the late night wars? 
I think Zucker is a fucking douche. And he's, uh, uh, Letterman took Zucker. I mean, you know how loyal Jay was to NBC, although, and they just do that to him? When he's number one, you mean pulling him out? Yeah. yeah but I that, guess. but that, in I mean, to get the Tonight Show in the first place, all the affiliates, he used to, you know, travel all over the country, you know, meet with the affiliates all over. He couldn't have been more loyal to that company, and then they shit on him like that. <laughs> what, Jay? Yeah, the, Jay? The original shitting on yeah. we're talking about? Yeah, because now everyone's like, I mean, Jay's sort of looking like a bad guy with some of the stuff I'm reading, and it's like Jay, well, you You're know, not, Jay got fucked to begin with. People don't know what they're talking about. Exactly they think they right. think that Jay quit and now is trying to take it back, and he didn't. That's what's driving me nuts. Exactly. NBC kind of fucked him, and he was a trooper and stayed there. And I personally believe that he stayed and instead of going to ABC, where he could have made a shitload of cash right. too. Believe me, he could have went there. Right. Uh, he stayed loyal to the network. And I also think in the back of his mind, what if he, he had to think, what if Conan didn't work out? He'd be the guy they'd go back to. He had to at least think that. Um, but now, you know, it looks like he, people, anyone that thinks that Jay is fucking Conan, you're a dummy. If you think the network's fucking Conan, that's fine. But if you think Jay's doing it, you're a dummy. Yeah, how does that get twisted? And, and I was watching like Letterman last night, and he was sort of implying that too, that Jay was like sabotaging. <laughs> uh, maybe Although Letterman's... I did love Letterman was rip, ripping Zucker to shreds. He's the one who, you mm -hmm. know, when when Colin did the original Tough Crowd, yeah, he sure. do it on NBC yeah. and put the kibosh on yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He's got the magic touch, doesn't he? What, he wasn't a fan of the show, He was obviously. at the taping, and no, he liked it. He actually thought it was very funny, so, but he thought it was too edgy for the network. I remember, I, I know it was Zucker, too. Yeah, wrong call again. <sighs> Uh, that would have worked. I think so too. That's so would have worked. So uh, yeah, I, I, you know, Christ, that that just goes to show you, man. It's it's all like uh, it's a it comes down to one guy's opinion of what he likes, what's funny. Mm. You know, Zucker maybe really loved what Conan was doing or whatever. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I know they want that demographic, but Jay was was number one when they gave him the boot. Was he not? Dude, he beat Letterman without writers, and that's not a knock on Letterman. It's just a matter right. of Leno was just. Doing fucking, he's a beast. He's uh, unbeatable at that hour, or at least he has been for years. And, and, and they pull him. And when you again, the, the advantage of the Tonight Show being in Hollywood, you get the better guests. Sure. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I mean, come on, Jay's well, perfect here, for that stuff. Here's the question: When Leno goes back to 11:30, will he be as effective? Yeah, he will. I think it's going to go right he's, back to where it was. Yeah, it's because it'll go, well enough. it'll go right back to where it was. Because it was so short. Exactly. Yeah. If it was a year or a year and a half, it may have damaged Jay, or it might have damaged the Tonight Show name. But I think now it'll, it will, people like, don't forget, in a year, people will look back, oh yeah, remember that four months, then two years, it's just distant memory. Right. I think so. So what do you think Conan's gonna, where's he gonna I have? don't know, it's gonna be hard, how are they gonna, how is Conan gonna go to Fox and demand big money when they saw that he was having trouble beating Letterman, now he's got Leno and Letterman. How do you, how does Conan go and justify yeah. big money so much? With all the attention Conan's getting, Letterman's still kicking his butt. Is so. he still beating him? Yeah, oh yeah. But they he kept is. saying Conan still had that demo young demographic, those numbers that that's why Fox is still interested. Oh, okay, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how it plays out. Man. I never met Conan. Everybody says he's a nice dude. He is. He's a great guy, Conan. I just didn't like the people working for him because I was doing panel on Leno, and they wanted, they wouldn't give me a date to do stand up on Conan. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. The guy. And, and I'm I know not, it's bizarre. I man. would have showed him the set after, like with Eddie for Letterman. They gave me a date, and then, and then Eddie came to the club. But it was just a matter. Of, I'm not going to fucking audition for you. But that one guy who worked for him had such a, a, a dislike That's of me. That's what I'm talking about. It was very frustrating. Hey, you uh, make it personal. We got uh, John in Jersey. John. Hey, good morning, boy. Good morning, John. Hey. Uh, I just want to say, Jimmy, I think you're missing the point with this whole. You know, Leno was was number one, and they got rid of him. I don't think that matters in the end because really, what NBC was doing is saying, "All right, we're going to make a move for the future." At this point in time, they're saying, "All right, five years from now, Conan." And how'd that work out? It's like Green Bay with Brett Favre. That is what they said, dude. They did say we're going to make a move for the. You're right, but the thing is, they miscalculated. It's there's something wrong with it if you miscalculate, and they miscalculated Jay's effectiveness five years down the road. They just they underestimated his yeah. effectiveness, and that was a terrible miscalculation. They look at that with Jimmy, dude. Uh, look at how it's working out. Look at how it's working out. Look! Look at the look at the Brett Favre situation in Green Bay. It's exactly the same thing. No, it's not. It Brett, is. Brett Favre is not funny. <laughs> yeah, Brett Favre, Brett Favre, Favre is not funny, fella. All right, you you monologue, this sucks. guy's obviously a Conan guy. Go ahead, go. Yeah, but when, when Favre, Favre said he wanted to come back right before he went to the Jets, 
He was still playing at a high level at that point. But Green Bay said, look, I know you want to come back. I know you're talented. I know you're still playing at a high level. But we have this guy waiting in the wings who's been waiting for a And they're out of the playoffs, and Brett Favre's in the playoff. Right. So you, wait, yeah, you, but you was, thought that it was the right move? But was Brett Favre winning the actual Super Bowl? Far Jay Leno was Jay Leno was number one when they kicked them to the. They curve. were looking at Jay's personal age and going in five years. Right, right, be right. Unappealing. The and ratings aren't going to be as good. This is a and... young man's game, but but they don't realize the shit that goes into it. And there's a lot more fucking longevity in late night hosting than there is a physical sport like football. So you're you're obviously a Conan guy. You're, you you think it was the right move for them to go? And I'm telling you, they didn't the anticipate the pudding, not that, to be a dick. that Jay would be number one. They didn't. They, don't dislike Jay. Dude, I don't it's, dislike Jay. But I also think that... How am I missing the point? Because I just think the fact that he was number one doesn't matter. I mean, because ultimately, ultimately, wow. if they're making a move, because if they're making a move for the future, then they're... This isn't sports. You're, 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 you're making a sports analogy. That, it doesn't work. They're making a move for the future, but let's just say Jay had gone to ABC. And Conan had taken the Tonight Show, and Jay had said, fuck you, I went to ABC. The move to the future, Conan is not going to be beating Jay. Because they thought that they let, let uh, uh, you know, uh, I just completely lost my thought. He would not have been beating Jay, or they wouldn't have kept Jay. But they saw, I think Conan was having trouble with Ferguson. Uh, I think Craig Ferguson was being Conan. Now, I'm not, I'm, I, I, I've heard that, I could be wrong. But I think that they started to see that although Conan is a very niche guy, and he might be a very specific humor that maybe won't appeal to the numbers that Jay will. I, I also have to think, I also, I also think you have to look at why Jay was number one, because when Jay first took over the Tonight Show, he wasn't number one for a while. He Three had years. the whole Hugh Grant thing, and then and then all of a sudden, you know, Three? people are attracted to scandal. Well, Conan comes on in June, and all of a sudden, Letterman's got this national uh, news-grabbing scandal with him and his affair that he's talking about on air, and all of a sudden, that's going to attract viewers to Letterman. And then I just don't think that Conan was able to recover from that, plus the fact that they put crappy prime time. Uh, dude, you're making. Uh, you, you, dude, I know what you're doing. You're making excuses for the fact that Conan wasn't, at this point, again, he really didn't have enough time, but he wasn't doing what you thought he was going to do at 11.30. And you're trying to find a reason why he's being fucked more than Jay got fucked. And it is unprecedented that the number one guy is pulled off when he is beating the, yeah, the, the, been done before. a, a monster not. like Letterman, and Leno was beating him. Readily. Letterman's not an easy guy to fucking beat every night. Letterman's a funny fucking guy, and he's a very competent, good host. And and, and Nick just uh, had a good point there. It never happened before. We never. Get rid of the guy who's number one yes, still. Jeff, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Touch. Johnny that's crazy was, in entertainment. Johnny was much older when 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 Leno came in. Jay is fifty nine. Now to us that's old. But you know what? Another right. six or seven fucking years, you could easily do that as a comic. Right. Absolutely, man. I mean, I wasn't trying to come up with a reason why I think Conan's getting fucked more. I'm coming up with a reason why I think Conan has been losing and why he's been doing so poorly right, in the ratings. Well, all right, I mean, well, I think that he does have a massive appeal for a younger audience, and that is something that NBC should right. value. Conan, Maybe they just pull the trigger way too soon. Yeah, so. and Conan will be just fine wherever he is. And the obsession with youth in Hollywood, um, I think a lot of times they miscalculate what people are going to look for and what people are going to like. It's a bunch of, don't forget, dude, you're also taking, uh, uh, executives want to be the ones who get their guy in. That's why when networks, uh, fucking network heads leave, new network heads come in, a lot of shows get axed, projects get axed, because people want Tell their stamp it. on it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, sir. Right. I appreciate thank it, John. All right. All right. Want to see what Conan said last night? I, yeah, I look at what both of them said, definitely. What, who they were funny. First? I'm sure they're both great. I mean, you know, Conan was really funny last night. They played some of his model. It was very funny. You want to do Jay first or Conan first? Because, I mean, you know, if we do Jay first, then people are going, why do you do Jay first? Blah, blah, blah. I say Jay first, just alphabetically backwards. I say Conan. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. I'm just trying to make good radio. <laughs> Here's fucking Jay from last night. Well, some good news from Afghanistan. You hear about this? Uh, critics of the war have stopped referring to it as another Vietnam. They're not calling it anymore. But the bad news, they're now calling it another NBC. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, of course, to NBC, America's most dysfunctional TV family. <laughs> huh? Thank you very much. Oh, man. Please. Oh. You thought the Goslings were screwed up. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, nobody knows what's going on here. Conan O'Brien, understandably, very upset. He had a statement in the paper yesterday, and Conan said uh, NBC had only given him seven months to make his show work. 
When I heard that, seven months, how'd he get that deal? We only got four. <laughs> hey, who's his agent? Get me that guy. I'll take seven. <laughs> Well, all the late-night hosts are having a great fun with this debacle. Uh, last night, Jimmy Kimmel did a show dressed up as me. Show that clip. Here he is dressed up as me. My now. name is Jay Leno, and um, let it hereby be known that I'm taking over all the shows in late night. <laughs> now, you see, now I was going to come out dressed as Jimmy Kimmel. Put Jimmy's picture up there. But, you see, I realized I do not have enough black shoe polish here at NBC to get my hair that dark. <laughs> now, look, now look at <laughs> I love it. I, I'm fucking I love loving this. When they go to the phys well, yeah, it's fun how they're all having. I don't fucking yeah. See how fun we're still being a little too nice though. I, I really wanted to get. Well, ugly. Letterman last night was it pretty was, yeah, pretty harsh. He was throwing around house. I, I think yeah, but you know what? It's kind of annoying funny. though because I'll say this: Jay kind of laid off. Mm -hmm. He did a couple of jokes when Dave's scandal broke, but he was like, he right. really didn't want to be a dick about it. And I think Letterman still got that bitterness because he's yeah. probably still pissed off at Jay. He's, you know, that's obvious. But it's funny how when, when, you know, you get millions of dollars, you know, Conan will be, he's fine financially, no matter what. Yeah, let's so not you worry can about have Conan. fun with this. Yeah. If they were like, yeah, making, exactly. you know, fighting for their lives, it wouldn't right. be that funny. If it was two deli owners fighting for a spot on the corner, <laughs> yeah, you know. It's a lot more personal. <laughs> of course. You know. We're talking about two guys that will be fine no matter what. He has maggots in his corned beef. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and this is uh, what Conan did last night. Anyway, we have an amazing show tonight. We're going to have so much fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What happened? What, was that? what happened? That sounded like a merge of two different clips. Yeah, what happened? Oh, let's see if it gets better. <laughs> oh! My God, it's, it's Kenneth the Page, everybody! Yeah! Oh, I didn't see this last night. I didn't see that either. When I was watching. Oh, Mr. O'Brien. Kenneth, what are, you, what are you doing here? Well, I have a tour group here, and they wanted to see the studio. Oh, okay, Kenneth, I'm doing a show right now. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. O'Brien. I know you'd understand. <laughs> This is the former home of The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now, Kenneth, I'm, I'm still here. Oh, okay, right. The soon-to-be former home of The Tonight Show with Conan no, O'Brien. No, 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 no. Well, and here's a fun fact. NBC spent more time building this studio than using it. Oh. That's true, that's true. Yeah. All yeah, right. That may be true, Kenneth, but... It is a beautiful studio. Oh, yes. It yeah. sure is. And it will make an even more beautiful storage facility for old office furniture. <laughs> oh, here's another fun fact. Just like Conan, most of the staff here uprooted and moved Jesus their families Christ. to come work here. What In fact, Max Weinberg uprooted his family and his other secret family. Uh, <laughs> You know, maybe, Kenneth, maybe you can do this later, if that's cool. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> this is the 5 o'clock tour. It's always been the 5 o'clock tour. If it's moved any later, it won't be the same. <laughs> Where would you get such an insane idea? You're right. I'm sorry. Is that nice? Kenneth the Page, everybody. He's a good man. Was this set up? He knew Kenneth was coming out. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me say hi to uh, Cutler, looks like, the trucker. Cutler. Yes. What's up, buddy? Hi. Not much. Uh, I don't know. To me, it seems like Jay Leno's shows make more sense and they're funnier than the, than Conan's. Well... I prefer Letterman. I mean, I mean Leno, but it's it's uh, to Conan. But, you know, again, Conan has, does have a, his own... That's just about our taste, man. Yeah. Two different shows. Yeah, I mean, Conan doesn't yeah, appeal to a certainly different... It's a taste thing, thing, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of people that would say, I prefer Conan, so... Right. You know. Yeah, but I mean, didn't you all say the other day, though, that if Conan lost his spot and they moved him past midnight, he's going to get, what, $50 million or $15 million or if, something like if, that? If, from what I... Again, I don't know the intricacies of the contract, but the get, Conan could have left years ago for more money. So he stayed loyal, wanting The Tonight Show. It was a miscalculation by NBC that Jay would still not be a fucking, as we say, a beast in an hour. Oh, so they said, look, Conan, in 2009, we'll give you a Tonight Show. And if we don't give you a Tonight Show, you can walk and we'll give you $40 million. And I believe that's what it was. Yeah, Jesus. 45. But when this was happening, I'm like, right. how are they going to pull Leno? We can't even get these guys to pay for our coffee around here. How do you pull Leno now? And then the economy shits the bed. Right. And it's, it's really hard to justify letting a guy leave 
not sure if he's going to beat your guy and then handing him $40 million. It's very tough to justify that, to just let a guy walk and hand him $40 million. So then they're kind of forced into the move, I think. Yeah. This story, that's, kind of, that's NBC's fault, you know. Oh, well, yeah, of course. They, they should have they should have looked at their numbers better. I agree. It's they not Jay's fault or Conan's fault. Where's Jay going to be at? I think you they know? should give Carson Daly a shot at the Tonight Show. Oh, boy, he's got to be miserable. Fucking good. Believe me, they both stay. He's, he's finished. Got, what do you mean? He's got a 4 a.m. slot nailed down, guarantee. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if they put a whole show of no, 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 for their numbers, probably go up. Anyway. No, for the car. No, 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 not for you. I meant to hit it a little earlier to be answer you when you said Carson Daly. <laughs> They'll both be fine. I can see why you're a little confused. My timing was way off on that, Nick. Thank you for calling me out on that. This is an audio thing. Wait, wait, wait for me? I wasn't trying to be funny. No. Hit the chirpers <laughs> right after I say something. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got enough problems. <laughs> All right, Carl, okay. thank you. Okay. All right, take care. And uh, why don't we uh, make it fair? Let's see what Letterman did last yes, night. Absolutely. Nick just said he killed with this thing. Well, he was, was, he he the was best? going after everybody. He was kind of, you know. I heard he, he said he ripped Jeff Zucker. That's kind of funny. He, oh, Jesus, did he ever. He kept putting his picture up, which is great, because a lot of people, well, the average person doesn't know, what you know, the head of the network. Right, right. He kept putting his picture up. Yeah. He was zinging Jay, and he was like, it was like eight minutes. He was just let him make get, people. Let him make it get vicious. Well, I, I like when but, he gets but a little vicious. It's not vicious. It's funny. Yeah. It's like back but, to, this is what made him famous. He was a cranky, cantankerous prick. And, and you know what I mean? That's when I, I, I yeah, loved that show. And uh, they get away from that. It was like a right. different real feel to it. But you, get, was to, you get to see it. This is yeah. like old Letterman coming yeah, out. Exactly. I enjoyed it. Okay, all right, settle down. CBS hasn't fired me yet. <laughs> I'm still here. Cold outside, isn't it? Lousy cold outside today. You know, they say from the Weather Bureau, they say it's caused by an Arctic chill between Jay and Conan. That's... <laughs> this, uh... I still have a show, right? You're so far. Uh, did you hear about this yesterday, uh, Conan O'Brien? It's so, Ooh. so confusing, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Jay Leno used to be on at 11.30, then they moved him to 10, and then Conan O'Brien was on at 11.30. Now they want him to go on at uh, 12.05, and then they would put Jay from 10 to 11.30. Oh, yeah, so. And, right. and Carson uh, Daly, now i got to get a show in Mexico or something. Uh, <laughs> He don't know what to do. I mean, he's just... Hey, what about it? Hey, what about it? Hey, what about it? It'll make you dizzy. So Conan O'Brien yesterday says, well, I'm not doing uh, the Tonight Show at 12.05. And you think about it, well, he's right. The, the Tonight Show, that would, you know, that's the next day. It's not really the... That's right. It's like the day after right. or the what it used to be the Tomorrow Show. Right. <laughs> So he said, forget it, I'm not doing the show at 12.05. Well, uh, NBC went back to him, and then they decided to sweeten the deal. They offered him 12.04. He said, maybe you don't get it. When he, but, uh, I think this is still his monologue, right? Yeah, I don't know. When he sat at the desk, it was when he kind of started freewheeling, and they had a few clips thrown in. He said something about Jay sabotaging. NBC. And it, he said he did it when he was a kid at his high school play. <laughs> and they showed some, like some actual footage of a black and white play where stuff was falling down. That's that, funny. <laughs> it was really fucking funny. Actually. Was it a, a good? I, it, was it more visual though? Uh, not really. Well, it, I mean, he was doing both, but he was yeah. brutalizing uh, Zucker verbally. <laughs> and now uh, the buzz is that Conan may leave NBC to start a show of his own at another network. And I thought, where would he get an idea like that? <laughs> Was that? He probably got the idea from Letterman because Letterman did it. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole idea of this was uh, NBC wanted to get a thing going whereby they wouldn't make the same mistake they made when Johnny uh, quit and retired, that there were a lot of bad feelings. They wanted to avoid causing more bad feelings. Well, mission accomplished. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Brandon wants us to find out what uh, Tank Hankerus uh, thinks about the Leno situation. God damn it, you're right. Tank Hankerus.
He's a funny dude. He's a correspondent. We have come in to steal well, him. He's, like, he's like a man's man, Nick. Yeah. yeah. And he gets right to it sometimes. Get Tank in here immediately. Can we get Tank Hankerus to give his opinion on the whole Leno Letterman thing? Tank Hankerus. <laughs> Sam's trying to... To get Tank, uh, <laughs> he's so fucking miserable. Why does I must have a stethoscope? I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm looking at his glasses. Those fucking creepy tinted glasses. I do love I miss. I miss this. Here comes Tank. Here Nick, comes Tank. Nick, yeah. you're going to enjoy Tank. You yeah, really he's a man. He'd be good to have you host a sports show again. Okay, yeah. what's he, super guy? He's the guy he has. Yeah, you guys he, are really laying it on here. He so really knows sports, like... and he, he drinks pitchers of beer at uh, Hooters every night. Yeah. He's that type of guy. Yeah. Hey, Tank. <laughs> Sucks pretzels like that cocks. <laughs> Is it Hank what, Tankerous not... or Tank Hankerous? Hank Hankerous. Tank Hankerous? I don't know. Is that like... And Tankerous? Yes, that was where this came from, because Dumbbell didn't know the word. Yeah, uh, Tank, say hi to Nick DiPaolo. Hi, Nick. Hi. Oh, Tank, he said. Tank, how are you? Not Eric, Tank. <coughs> why are hi, you? Nick. Hi, Tank. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tank, what do you got on the whole late-night war thing? That's right, and why are your lips pasty white? <laughs> you're not the virus right now, you're, you're Tank. Tank has a lot more confidence than the got, virus. What do you got, Tank? What do you got on the late-night wars? Oh. Are you nervous in front of Nick? A little. Come on. Come on, Tank. <laughs> Tank, what do you got in the late night? Go. It's the microphone. Go. Do you want to do it outside so you don't have to look at Nick? <laughs> Come on, Tank. No. What do you got on the late night wars? Go, Tank. Tank has nothing on the late night wars. <laughs> You're not even doing the voice. At least do the voice. Be Tank. <clears throat> we want Tank. Tank's got nothing on the late night wars. <laughs> Come on, Tank. Yes, you do. What's your opinion? <laughs> I think it's because of Nick. <sighs> Come on, look at Nick and talk. Is Nick, Nick likes a man's man? I do. Is he intimidating, Nick DiPaolo? Just a little bit. All right, he's not going to make fun of you. Just fucking yeah. do Tank Hankers and. I'm having my stomach scope like an old lady in about two hours. <laughs> right, how intimidating is that? <laughs> they got a nut in the back of my throat. Really? Yeah, they spray that shit out. Uh. I'm hoping. Yeah, there's other ways to do it. <laughs> Tank anything? <laughs> it's a real cheap doc. He's going to throw me a couple of fucking yeah, Tic Tacs. He head over the bed. Mm. Good deep throat fucking till it numbs us. <laughs> Jesus. Tank? Guys, I'm there's the knowledge. Yeah, there's, all right, there's nothing happening here. Thanks. Oh, Thanks. Jesus Christ. Another big disappointment. Holy shit, between him and the homeless guy. Yeah, no this kidding. This is fucking tremendous. Why is everyone panicking? I don't know. In front of live mics What's going today? on? It's really you, yeah. Nick. Don't they realize this is satellite? Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. Oh. oh, we got Bobo on the line. You want to do the Bobo thing before yes. break? Uh, have you heard Bobo on our show? I haven't. Uh, Bobo is... Um, I have trouble picking up a satellite in Westchester. There's two trees in the county. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo <laughs> had a gig. Yeah. Some frat house in Buffalo hired Bobo to do some stand-up comedy. Jesus, oh, to this end in the fucking gym. Bobo doesn't really do stand-up comedy. He wants to do stand-up comedy. That didn't stop me and Jimmy. That's right. <laughs> you got to start somewhere as well, right? Uh, Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> you got the magic touch today, huh? No shit. Holy Bobo. Shit. Bobo, did he fall asleep on the phone? Maybe. Maybe? Bobo! The fuck's he got a blood sugar disorder? <laughs> he may be asleep. He's reminiscing about the raping he did at the fraternity <laughs> up there. What happened? Did it get ugly? Oh, you want to get an update, Bobo? You you got to be kidding me, Danny. Well. Uh, what Travis is suggesting is perhaps we hang up the phone, terminate the call, and call him back so that his phone right. rings, and then once again, uh, I'll definitely him answer. If, it, it always <laughs> wakes him up. A guy named Bobo's too busy for the show. You want to? Uh, all right, call him right back immediately. Uh, Nick DePaul is in studio today. He's going to be playing comics at a fine comedy club here in New York City. Yeah, next uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. Wait, what's the dates there? Oh. January 21st through the 23rd. Yes. Next Thursday, Friday, fine. Saturday, you get to see Nick DePaul in New York City. That's great. Yeah. And also, you got NickDip.com and Nick DePaulo on Twitter. How's that Twitter working for you? I'm on Twitter? That's what it says. Is someone else doing it for you? Is somebody making this shit up? Yeah, I got a web guy. Maybe I am. I don't know. 
Is he, is he tweeting for you? I don't fucking know. I, I, I can't stand that shit. My computer crashed yesterday. Is there any, somebody call in that, who, is there somebody that can call in that just has turned their back on this whole technology fucking wave? And can you do it? Can you get along without it? No. Uh, Patrice tried. He did try. Un oh. Unplugging from the grid, basically. I'm not talking about donuts. Why don't you want to be part of the grid? Why don't you want to be part of Facebook oh, it's and a Twitter? Fucking and... pain in the ass. Kind of is, right? Just it's the... overwhelming. It's overwhelming, but I... it's learnable. It's, it is overwhelming, but it's like it's not. It's not that bad. Once I you know, get a little... but I don't want to. It, it sucks. You sit down. I sit down and like write jokes, and then I'll Google something. And I and then I start reading. And it just sucks time from your life. You look up, and it's three hours later. Yeah. Your hands You're are all stuck. Yeah. <laughs> You're out three socks. <laughs> we just went on Nick DiPaolo's Twitter, so you did not write. You did not write. What do you? It's a picture. I know. That's me. I know. That's right. Uh, you didn't write this. Hey kids, catch me on O and A tomorrow morning at eight thirty a.m. Yes, I did actually. Okay. Wow, that one got through, huh? Yeah. So it's Nick That's DiPaolo Twitter? on Twitter. All right. Yeah. Now you know what it's all about. I, I, I do something. I, I, I write something. Is it goes to my MySpace, to my uh, Facebook, Facebook, to all that shit. Oh. But it's not Twitter per se, but you it goes would... to my Twitter account, too, I guess. I twit myself. Nick, you'd be a, a really good one to follow on Twitter. Yeah, you'd have you got some stuff. good shit to say. Yeah, what, what's it going to get you? Chance. You know, what, what's it going to get you? Do you have the app on your show? Do you have the app on your uh, phone? Yes, I do. Oh, no, yeah. I don't. It'll make, it'll make selling tickets a lot easier because then you, know, you build it up and then you can smack them with, hey, bam, comics this weekend. Let's go. Let's yeah. go, people. I talk to all of my Twitter followers. I preach. They're worshipers. When do you do that? I'm so busy. What, with taking naps and lunch? <laughs> <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally the, tw the Twitters I send out, my, I'm, I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm pushing so hard, my legs are straight out. That's normally what I'm fucking thinking. Your legs are straight Yeah, my legs are straight out. I'm shitting. All right, we're going to try this Bobo thing All again. All right, Bobo? Bobo. Yeah, I'm here. Bobo, what happened? We, did you fall asleep? It, no, I just missed the call. I, I, I missed it. Anyway, what what, ha what happened was... Bobo. Was, what, but anyway, Bobo. I what happened Bobo. Yesterday. Yeah? What happened? First of all... I gotta teach you something about radio. People ha have no idea what you were going to do. We got Nick DiPaolo here, so you explain to Nick. Yes. This whole, uh, this whole thing that was supposed to go down in Buffalo. Alright, well, well, what was supposed to go down in Buffalo was this thing, I was booked for this show somewhere, some fried house or wherever the fuck it was. I called, I called this guy to confirm, yeah, I'll be, I'm gonna be there. Everything the guy doesn't answer. Well, why does he sound like Betty Davis? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know he's got. You know, he's uh, I was, I was, I was just um, he sorry, almost I was has just the haircut. up in Buffalo at the sick <laughs> right. Bobo, a little things going on. Yeah. Uh, how much were they going to pay you to go all the way to Buffalo? You got to explain this to Nick. Because Nick, be, it was going to be a hundred plus five dollars off the tickets. Uh, five dollars off of every ticket sale. <laughs> And he had five dollars from every. How long you been working with Barry Katz? <laughs> <laughs> and he had to find his way to Buffalo too. They weren't going to pay for him oh, to get there. Geez. So who did you call? Who, who yeah. set this up for you? Sounds like my agent. The the the, the guy that called the guy that called in the guy that called me. So some guy out of the blue calls you to yeah. to give you this gig at a frat house in uh, Buffalo. Yeah, with some some frat house that was being rented out for this. Okay, thing. and you were very excited, Bobo, weren't you? It was your first uh, headlining gig. Yeah, yeah, I was I was all ready for this and everything, and I'm calling the guy right before I leave, right, and the guy doesn't answer the phone, so I just keep calling and keep calling, and he says, and, 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 and it's on, right, and then then the, then what happens is uh, my, uh, well, well, I'm just gonna say a representative. I'm not gonna mention any names. He calls in saying, "What is this? You're not picking up and everything. Not not calling the guy, right?" And the guy the guy got upset that he just. The guy just canceled. Just like they just canceled the gig. Why did he get upset? Yeah, upset. I don't know. He was. So you never went to Buffalo, is what we're uh, getting at, because people wanted to know how it went. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what happened. He just canceled. It just got so upset. A lot of people would kill to have their plans fall through on Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just complaining about. Because the the, my, the the representative that was representing me uh, was complaining about that. So I got answering. I'm trying to, I was Who trying is to representing you? I see him now? Who is yeah, him? why... The guy gets upset because you're just trying to figure out if the gig is still on, so then he cancels? That doesn't make sense. He was fucking with you the whole yeah, time, Bobo. 
Yeah, that's what it is. This guy was just messing with me. Oh, that's not nice. Not nice. I don't like when they do this. We're the only ones that are allowed to mess with Bobo. No yeah. one else. Yeah, right, yeah, Bobo? This, this, yeah, 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 exactly. This guy, if I find out who this guy I is, find out. I'm telling you, he's going to get whacked in the head with a baseball bat. Oh, oh shit. That's strong language, Bubba. If, if, if I find out who this guy is... Come on, Bubba, what else? What else would you do to this guy that really fucked you over? Come on. What would you do? What would you do? Would you suck his cock, Bubba? No, I, I would hit this guy <laughs> with a baseball bat... And then he'd I suck would, his dick, right? I don't know if you could sum up the energy to swing a bat since I'm listening to you. Then you sound like you got I would just, cancer I would of the just, ass and eyes. I would just pee on that guy. On his, I would shrek him in the face. I would humiliate this guy. Yeah. By kissing him, right? I'd buy him a house no, and no, he... No, no, no. I would just piss, I would just piss on this guy. You'd kiss on him. On his unconscious... <clears throat> All right, Bobo. All right. Why do you want to kiss on the guy? Kiss or piss? Hey, why would you want to kiss a guy? Yeah, why do you want to kiss no, a guy? No, 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 I said I would piss on this oh, guy. Oh, you want to kiss him? That's All right, gross. so you're going to kiss no, this I guy. Where are you going to kiss him? No, 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 I said I would piss on him. I would That's take a week on this Kiss guy. on him. That's like creepy that. to kiss the dude. Yeah. The, yeah. No, I, said I mean, the baseball bat, okay, but yeah. the kissing thing gets a little weird. No. No, no, I hit, I hit this guy with the baseball All right. bat. All right, then we, I, I would probably I, did you play Little League? <laughs> I would dump paint on this guy. You would dump you? paint on him? That's something. You're going to put your taint on him? Why? Why would you taint a guy? <laughs> no, no, I would dump a can of paint on him. So you wanna, you, you're going to kiss on him and put your taint on him? That's so weird. Why? No, I would dump a can of paint, I said. You put your can on him? Dude, there's no reason to put your can on him. That's fucking gay. I can see you touching his taint, but you don't can him. <laughs> right. No, I said a can of paint. Ugh, he's so gay, oh. Boy. Yeah. You're gonna kiss on him, put your taint on him. What That's else? That's really creepy. No, 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 no. I said. No, I know why the guy canceled your gig. You're a big girl. <laughs> no, no. I said a can of paint. All right, we, oh. we hear you. What what color? Uh, see, I guess orange. <laughs> 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 well, if you're gonna pick a color, I guess orange would be That's the. Like an Irish the, terrorist right, thing, right. is it? That would be the go-to color, I guess. All right, Bobo. I, guess so. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> that was the funniest thing in a whole 20 minutes. Yeah, what are we supposed to do with this oh Bobo God. guy? All right, so the gig didn't happen because people want an update, and there, there's your update. All right, Bobo, we'll see you soon, okay? All right. Uh, 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 oh, wait, Bud the Trucker. I don't know why. I, I had an out right there. Bud. Yeah, uh, I, think, I, 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 I think Bobo should go and to where they work and knock the dicks out of their mouths. Oh, can we no. play that? Can we play that for Nick? I think I murdered the line. Uh, at least we could set it up. We had Bobo in here, and we were trying to teach him comedy a little bit, so we had Kenny heckling him as he's trying to do his jokes to see if he could, like, come back at the heckler, right? And do we have it, Travis? And we're going to have it in a second. And this is how it went down. Uh, check it out. All right, well, they well they inject that anesthesia, and you start feeling like you hear these people all talking. Why do they fuck you in the ass? Hey, you, you there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I don't go, I don't go to your job at... And, and suck all the dicks that you that you yeah. work with. <laughs> I suck myself. That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> Bob Kelly was trying to teach him how to go back at a heckler, and that's and that's what he did. That's oh he my did. God! He's got the instincts to be a comic. <laughs> he huh? sure does. Right. All right, more Con with Nick DePaulo. Great powder puncher. <laughs> more with Nick DePaulo. Here's the headline with Nick. Comics next uh, next weekend, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, baby. Uh, take us 212-524-2500. Nice to Quick break. You want to try mustard again? Oh, mustard sleeping? The show's only getting better, huh? He's learning Can we wake thing. up mustard and see if he's got a song in him? You want to let I'm, him sleep through the break? Yeah, let him sleep through the break. I'm glad to see he's using his time wisely. <laughs> to practice. <laughs> And I'm for his, big, for his big radio debut. Well, and I'm going to produce reinventing. This. With I'm work, be... ha work habits like that, it's hard to see how he's homeless. Huh? <laughs> I'm supposed to produce a CD. What did I get myself into? <laughs> what do you mean? It went viral in like two seconds. Yeah, but look what's happening to the guy now. They used to say that about my girlfriend. What? Yeah. All right, opening after you stay there. <laughs> Jim Norton, Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> I have something going on sale tomorrow. I want to just throw Yeah, go ahead. Tomorrow man. morning, my Washington, D.C. It's actually... Uh, Falls Church, Virginia, March 6th, tomorrow, 10 a.m. Tickets go on sale at thestatetheater.com. They spell theater, T-R-E, like the fucking British. 
Um, <laughs> so irritating. So uh, I will be in the Washington, D.C. area March the 6th. Tomorrow at uh, 10. All right. Um, well, Mustard came in today. I was just found it. And, um, you know, the guy that sang Radiohead's Creep that went all over, all over the world. And he came in today, and it's been a disaster so far. And I'm supposed to produce a <laughs> CD with this guy. And uh, I told everyone this is exactly how it's supposed to happen. <laughs> just him falling apart live on the show. And he's now sleeping. And we want to wake him up and maybe get him to re- redeem himself. So we got Sam outside the studio. Sam? Oh, hold on. Sam? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. We, we got you. Okay. Do you want me to wake him up or Kenny? Why, are you scared to wake up? No, I'm Mustard. not scared. What's he got a thorn in his paw? Wake him up. All right, go ahead, Sam. Okay. Mustard. Mustard. Oh, that's him? I thought he worked here for serious. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me, Mustard. Is he dead? He's not waking up. Oh my God. He's home. Dude, God. he's used, oh to, he's he's used to sleeping with a fucking a, a train two feet from his head. Exactly. This, is, this is the fucking the Hyatt. How the fuck? <laughs> a chair in the hallway. A chair with no one's going to fucking break his teeth? Are you jealous like me? I want to be able to sleep like that. I've never been that restful since I was two months old. <laughs> right. Look at him. Look at him. A little like a little is drool coming down. Oh, is that drool? Sam? Is that fucking... <laughs> mustard. Moonshine. Hey, Mustard. He's screaming at him. He's two inches from his face. I think he's dead. Yeah. Hey, Mustard! Keith? He's up. Mustard? I mean, look, we used to do this with Tippy Tom, but I had experience with it. Mustard really could probably bite Sam. Really? Oh, no. Maybe a finger. Really? His face. Oh, Sam, get in there. Like Here. Come Wait, on, Sam. Slap the cock on his face. We're still looking for Take the highlights. Take a bag a little bit. Do we're, something. We're still looking for today's highlights. So you get your face right in there and let's hope for the best. Is he moving, Sam? His his head moved. Oh, right, that's yelled. a good sign. At least he's not dead. He's not dead. Okay. He's fired up about his career. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe oh, it. He's thinking of the guitar. <laughs> Jimmy, what did I get myself into? Yeah, you bet on a fucking winner. <laughs> Mustard! <laughs> Mustard! There you go. All right, he's yeah. moving a little. Mustard? Yes. Oh, you're <laughs> got a nice voice. Mustard. Mustard? Yeah. No, how do you get? Are you ready to sing that, another song? Is that is what his yes. diet's made of. What did he say? He said he. I guess so. He's ready to do one more song. All right. Does he want to do it from just out there? He looks yeah, nice just and hand comfortable. The guitar, it's fine. You want to do it from right here? Where does that beard end? Holy shit! It goes yeah. right up to his forehead. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, that beard was any longer. It would have its own zip code or something. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask Nick. <laughs> Just let it happen. <laughs> don't even ask. <laughs> uh, all right, now the now the guitar is just kind of leaning up against Mustard, and he's not moving. Sam, what's going on? I believe Mustard, are you awake? This worked out perfectly. Oh, he he is awake. I did get, Here's he's dreaming about a big, nice big glass of Prestone. <laughs> I got an email from Mustard yesterday saying I'm, I'm, I'm clean and sober and I'm really excited to make the CD and get my life together and sure looks like it today, huh? What a horrible beverage a glass of Prestone is of all the awful beverages. Yeah, you know, it's funny because when the, when the email came in yesterday no, freeze at night. that uh, Mustard was coming in, I got excited because the email from Steve says that Keith is bringing Mustard who is sober, clean, and apparently sweet-smelling. Sweet and, smelling. And he's none of those things. No, no, no. he's not. Not a one. Uh, Sam, what happened now? Mustard seemed angry and said, I got to pee. Uh, <laughs> so now he's... woke him up from a nice nether. Now nice he's urinating. <laughs> he's got one. Oh, my God. Help me. <laughs> I, 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 what a fucking disaster. Now, is he staying in your house this week and a half? Hell fucking no. I'm not that stupid. I'm pretty stupid, but <laughs> hell fucking no. I'll care. email him every once in a while. <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's friendly when he wakes up. No, he's a little... A little well, nobody angry. is. You don't have to be home yeah, to be a true. real prick. You could, be living, you could be living in a penthouse and you're going to be fucking yeah, cranky if someone wakes up. He's daydreaming about his uncle touching him in fifth grade. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. That's how he got no. into this predicament in the first place. Please no, not today. <laughs> he better must sit on the sandwiches. <laughs> anybody who encourage this, I don't... I think you secretly hate me, you fuck. Why do you encourage... Encourage Chip to talk? Why? Hey, his name is Lyle. Yeah, Lyle. he prefers Chip. 
<laughs> Nick, you like Chip? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't know. I'm I did. There's nothing to know. <laughs> it, that's it. Well, you'll have a guest that never follows the show. Yeah, that's all right. That's if I come in as all these characters, Chip I have no is idea. New. Chip is new. Very Chip's new. Chip's a new character on the show? Yeah, we're... <laughs> all right. <laughs> so now we're waiting for him to get back from the bathroom, Sam. Yeah, he's still in the bathroom. I don't know what he's doing. I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know exactly what he's doing in there. Right now he's got a dirty syringe between his big toe and his little toe. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only vein he can pull. Pulling wool knots out of his ass crack. They've been there since the Mets won the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably just sleeping on the toilet. He's got his head on the fucking septic tank. <laughs> Great. He's supposed to get some music out of this guy. That, that toilet is like a recliner to him. Have to sleep, have to sleep it on grates all fucking day. That, that toilet's like a lazy boy. He's like, <laughs> he's, he's flushing it, thinking it's the handle on the side of a. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to get the leg thing to come up. <laughs> <laughs> no bones from Pennsylvania goes. Mustard had a pig. Did he at least get up from the couch? Yes. Good news. <sighs> he's still gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The that's... acoustics are better in there. Bring him his guitar. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe good. he's more comfortable in the toilet since that's where he lives. <laughs> no offense. All right. Well, what else is going on in the world? As I'll we tell you right now. To save the radio show. Huh? <laughs> there was something that uh, there was oh, something that, that, that I uh, we did this. Yeah. That was infuriating you. No. Gotti. No. Oh, John Gotti Jr. I just saw that. That's what I was looking at. The feds well, are finally leaving him alone. Yeah. No more trials for John they Gotti said Jr. They will not try him. How humiliating that he just kicked their ass four times. They're good. I, they, how does that happen? How the fuck? Good lawyers, That's man. Unbelievable. Or, or they got to a jerk. Good fucking lawyers. Right. He actually looks good in that picture. Yeah. He must have lost a lot of work. Uh <laughs> and, and and Obama says Woods can be rehabilitated. Why is Obama commenting on Woods? Yeah, exactly. What does he know? Does he want to be rehabilitated now that he's going to be a single man? He shouldn't be. He should embrace that bad boy image and, and fuck every it. waitress from here. What's the point of being a trillionaire? Uh, right. The most famous athlete on earth. You can't have if you can't fuck cocktail waitresses in Vegas like Fredo was. <laughs> <laughs> we love the Perkins waitress. We can't get enough of her. The one mess that uh, came forward. Oh yeah. Everyone's got one of those in the past, huh? They're all smoking except for the Perkins waitress. God bless Tiger. I, I say he comes back as the evil tiger and just is I'm, so, I'm serious. Just a motherfucker on the golf course. Make uh, John Daly look like a saint. Yeah, because he's like the alpha male, mentally tough guy in the court. Everybody's afraid of all these years. So yeah. embrace that image. Now you're the guy that gets all the ass too. Yeah. You got yeah. totally. You got the rest of the guys totally yeah. psyched. Go old school. Get the goatee going. <laughs> so you look yeah. evil. Shave your head. Kind of a Montel Williams look. Either, either shave your head or just come out with a, just a, an obnoxious afro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a shirt. Not just a regular yeah. afro. One of those obnoxious ones. Yeah, I heart white pussy. <laughs> in sweatshirt. <laughs> At least teeing off. I would love him if he did that. <laughs> I'm telling you. But he's going to go back to that same shit. Don't. Now just reinvent what? yourself. Fuck it. Aren't, aren't 90% of his fans diehard guy, yeah. guys? Who, yeah. I didn't understand the whole, ooh, yeah. Gillette, you know, we're going to drop him. Right. Really? You sell men's razors. Right. I mean, a guy's going, I'm not going to shave anymore because he gets yeah, so much Yeah, exactly. Blood. No I'm guy right. is saying that. They didn't catch him at, like, the goal club, you know, doing some landscaping on a chick's twat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the, I don't get the whole drop of the... Yeah. It wasn't like he was, uh... It wasn't like they caught him, you know, doing, you know, whatever. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> this is hitting as we talk about Tiger. Tiger just checked into sex. Uh, Arizona. Oh, for Christ's sake. Now it's a disease, right? Right. He's uh, officially a sex addict, I guess, and he what went to a clinic. I, I, but I know. Uh, maybe dig.com has that. I almost think that he is, is reliable. I think he's a healthy fucking guy with a lot of money. Because of the risks that he took. Never got married. Now, he didn't. Be, he behaved like a fucking addict, like not fucking with a rubber, like like crazy shit. When you get a billion dollars at stake, like he just stupid, unnecessary risks. That's because he, he was nerdy. When everybody else was out getting laid, he was on the course practicing his whole fucking He's life. He's making up for lost time. I swear to God, it's like a delayed yes. adolescence. That's uh, all it is. But yeah, you gotta be the. I guess when you do have that much at Dude, stake, just, you might want to throw. But the more I heard about him, it wasn't like, getting laid. I understand it, but it's like a lot of guys just you know you throw a fucking bag on. He was bringing chicks to his house. 
it's like the risks he was taking were like were like it's like when you pull over and you get a hooker and she's blowing you in the car. It's like yeah, it's just a blowjob, but it's like the risk you're taking of your you fucking. You pull static. over? Why do you pull over? Well, a lot of times they make me, you know, because they want to put their dicks through the window first. Get a tranny joke. Uh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I didn't miss a beat. No, I know. Uh, hey, Jimmy, when you were doing that, did you ever do the uh, the tunnel bunny thing? The dicks outside the tunnel? Yeah, a few times with my buddy. Uh, they don't have that Pete. anymore. No. That was hilarious to see as you're coming into New York. All the fucking uh, prostitutes lined up to give you a little head in the tunnel. My and friend. Then, and then you drop them off, and then they get someone coming back the other way. Me and my buddy fucking got blown in New York. Uh, came into the city, and his car broke down. And we had to get a jump. Literally, there's nothing but hookers sucking dicks. <laughs> and we're walking down the street, and we asked a pimp for a jump. And he's like, no, I don't know. It was, <laughs> nobody bothered us. They just knew we were two white idiots. <laughs> and uh, this is also the same guy whose truck broke down on the way to Staten Island to go see Richard Pryor. <laughs> Why did I hang out with this guy with his awful truck? He, he's still my friend. A fucking horrible car. Now those hookers that hang outside the tunnel, they charge like four fifty, like the tolls. <laughs> yeah, <Right. laughs> nine dollars. Uh, I think we lost mustard. All right, Sam. Yeah, I believe he's making number two. <laughs> oh, I can Christ. imagine what that consists of. He's standing at the urinal. <laughs> um, mustard update from Keith. He's making poopy. Can we get a, a cell phone that works in the bathroom and get some kind of update or, or an update I outside the bathroom, that, whatever? Like is, that whatever's school. legal around here. Oh, grilled cheese and pigeon. I'll find out. All right. W what's not legal? We're not allowed to have a fucking... Uh... I could just see someone getting in trouble yeah. if we try to go in there and broadcast with a phone. Why? This is... This what is happened? This is I a love dopey it. radio company. This I agree. This is a fucking IBM. <laughs> the go-to company. You can do that at IBM. <laughs> yes. Fuck. How about, um... Like they have feelings. I, uh... I oh. know. <laughs> they have to draw the tears on. Uh, oh, what was they I pluck the nose here. <laughs> Wait. Um, oh, yes, Sam. The mashup's okay. coming. We don't want the mashup. We like to want you guys today. Hi, Sam. Wait, they're right there. Once the. Oh, here comes Rich Davis. Who's Rich Davis? Exactly. He's the, he's a CEO and vice president of marketing. <laughs> How's it going? That's the king of the mashup, Rich Davis. Right. Let that be known. Captain. Everybody walks around a little bit too much of a swagger in this building. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <We're all puppies. laughs> Guys in dungarees. Wow. Jeans, dungarees. Dungarees. <laughs> Big W on the back. <laughs> I said that to my wife. She fucking laughed at her. Did you just say dungarees? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we yeah. called them as a kid. They were dungarees. What did fucking I want to say? It was something about... Lucky Brand's bringing back the fucking tiger? dungarees. Yeah. Was it tiger shit? Uh, oh, no, tunnel shit, blowjob shit, hookers, yeah, no, pimps, remember. Richard Pryor, broken yeah. down cars. No, I think that's it. That was it? Ooh. Who are these two? I don't know. I don't what do these people do? She needs a pay phone to call. Put a prince. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I haven't heard from my cousin. <laughs> the number keeps going up. First they said 100, then it's 100,000, now it's a half million. That's fucking... They're million. saying half a mil. It won't be a half million. They always overestimate to keep you watching, but it'll probably be 300,000. <laughs> the news does, I think oh, the yeah. news does do that. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think they're fucking despicable, but I would say it's well, probably going right. to be 300,000. they did it with 9-11. And they did it with fucking Katrina. And uh, they did it with my show. And I like that. <laughs> <laughs> they, said, <laughs> they said it was going to be sold. <laughs> what do you think of this Haiti thing? That's horrible. Look, you know me. I like to poke fun at everybody. This is even tough for me. I don't. This the is fucking, horrible. The, the footage is a little rough on this one. Yeah, but I'm rough. surprised so many people died. Most of the houses are made of mud and banana leaves. You know? Yeah, it's not exactly the biggest structures. Yeah, but uh, boy. And I hate how they break down the news. Is, uh, we can't find this 800 Americans missing. It gets more important. Than yeah, they actually. I, I, I was That's watching when they said know. that. I'm like, let's. All right. I'm not. I'm not the a world P already hates us. All right, yeah. shut up. I'm not a PC guy. You know, no, but even but that, I picked up. I'm like, that's kind of Yeah, because they're like, and, yeah, it, and we're still trying to find 800 Americans. I'm like, all right. That's horrible. Yeah, we'll horrible. find them and we'll get them out of there. We don't have to tell the world. I know that's your priority. A, and and, then, and it, whatever. That's fine. That, this, that country's just been beat on for years. What's weird is the Dominican Republic right there, and it's like the complete opposite. It's yeah. prospering and it's freaking. Uh, but yeah, a, but a relatively uh, rich area, and then you got Haiti, their neighbors. Uh, it's just a disaster. That's true. It's, it's right like there. that complete opposite. People go. Uh oh, to... what? Keith what doesn't look good. He. Uh, it appears that mustard has dozed back off while on the uh, toilet. Toilet. Yes. 
And I'm supposed to produce a CD with this guy? He's locked in a stall, and he see, he appear. I look through the crack, and it does look like he's passed out. He's his on pants his down or no? His pants are down. And uh, we got serious. How do you sleep while shitting? <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I sleep right after I shit for about a month. I love to sleep after I shit. But I can never, like, a log could never be just dangling, and I fall asleep before I know what happens. And we can't go in the bathroom to make good radio? We're not allowed to go in the bathroom and make good radio, right? We have Because that would be that would be crazy. We haven't had confirmation <laughs> that we can go and make good radio. Is this amazing, Nick? We got a whole. Uh, I've never seen a homeless guy actually use a real toilet. I like to see that. But Nick, yeah, Mac, be good therapy Mac, too. Like, <laughs> Nick, you've done a, right You've done enough radio to understand yeah. if a homeless guy is passed out as he's toilet. taking a shit and he's on a toilet. That as a radio guy, you need to explore that and get some jokes done. Yeah, you got. But this company, we have to go through corporate guys and decide if if we could do this. Can or we not. get a rolling on that before he wakes up? <laughs> Are we getting a ruling? Are we allowed to go in the bathroom and make good radio or not? How about we, if Jimmy pretends he has to go pee pee? Yeah. He goes in there. Well, they we're waiting the for a word right now. <sighs> Just say we're waiting for a no. <laughs> Why don't you talk to the morning mashup? Okay. Here comes Nicole, the only the only one uh, worth talking to from the morning, morning. mashup. Good morning, Sam. What are you guys talking about today? What are you guys talking about today? No, you don't want me, so I don't want you. What's, What's wrong, you guys? That's good. We're waiting She's for a homeless guy. I, I like her. Nicole's mad. Why is she mad? Why? Because you guys didn't want to talk to her when she was coming before. All right, here comes Troy Kwan with his uh, Jimmy Neutron hair hairdo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Looks like you get her in a convertible. Yeah, only if it's empty. Wait, what, if, Sam? If the bathroom is empty, we can broadcast via cell phone. Well, what's going on right now? Lay Miz in there? The can we close off? And Nick, you want to be in this business, right? Uh, okay. I know. <laughs> If the bathroom's empty, we're allowed to go in there. Why? Because a guy's going to be offended that we're doing this while he's taking this stupid leak? You go in there, he's probably chewing on one of those Canadian mints in the urinal. I think, <laughs> what? I think Troy's going to stand guard and close off the bathroom. This is what you have to do. Stand guard, make sure no one else goes in the bathroom so we can get some good radio done for the people. What happened, yeah. man? How the women won. Uh, feminized uh, political uh, 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 sensitivity uh, poopoo has taken over. They won. But it's, it's a over. guy. But um, it's over, Johnny. It's but, over. Uh, Nick, but among guys, what guy would care if 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 we're in the bathroom broadcasting live? Is that that's doing what I'm saying? They've been emasculated. I want to talk to the the guys that actually work for Sirius XM that would care that we're doing this while they're in there for real. Who's this overthinking this shit? I could give you names. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm all about pleasantries though. I'm, Me too. I'm, I'm keeping my mouth shut. I just do pleasantries now. <laughs> safer that way, Nick. Safer that way. Where's Anthony today? <laughs> Nobody knows. This is, this is a bigger disaster than Haiti right now. <laughs> Who are you kidding? Anthony suffered a, a penetrating asshole injury making a home video <laughs> with a couple of friends and a fucking construction cone. <laughs> <laughs> How many Somebody stitches? Oh. How many stitches? Anthony doesn't believe in stitches. He just lets him <laughs> clot and heal. Oh. <laughs> Got a you just man down there. You just get some liquid skin and, and he's yeah. good to go. He just heals up. He's holding one of those cold metal things on it that they put on the box of yeah. eyes. Uh, so now we're just in a standstill because we have to deal with uh, the dummies down the hall once again. But they're there to help us, right? Uh, who's on the hotline? Could this possibly be a phone call from the bathroom? Hello, who's this? Yes. This is Sam. Oh, hey, hi, Sam. Sam. What's up? You sound disappointed. Well, yes. I'm not, I'm not disappointed in you, that's for sure, Sam. Okay, I'm going in the bathroom. All right. Must oh, good, it's empty. All right, good, thank God. Uh, there's much in the stall. Hey, much? Why would the phone work in the bathroom? Why, why do you, I guarantee he's got an AT&T phone. Why would the phone work in the bathroom? Someone go tell Sam his phone doesn't work. Okay, he's almost finished. Sam, your phone doesn't work that no. well? It's sort of working now. Go ahead, Sam, before it craps out again. Munster said he's almost finished. He's awake now. Okay. Um, let me see. Are you in the wiping process, or are we still pushing out? He wipes? He's, he's wiping. He, uh, he lets he it dry. That's that's actually true because we saw Tippy Tom's underwear once. It was oh, not I remember good. That. It was not good. I think it was, I was there for that. Th it was a rock. Yeah, he actually had a rock in his fucking underpants. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, this is probably diamonds by now. <laughs> if you don't wipe good, you're fucking miserable by the afternoon. And this guy had a, did a doo doo that turned into a rock in his underpants. He's making, then we 
We threw it on the counter, and it wouldn't break. We were handling it. We I felt that. we felt like it was safe because it, it it was a rock. You had to clean your hands good, but nothing went nothing went on your hands. He's that, making that, alternative <laughs> energy sources right. in his pants. Uh, yes, Sam. Uh, Monster, what was the consistency of your stool? What was, that? what was the consistency of your stool? What was that? And he said the consistency was good. It came out easily. He just flushed, and he's exiting the stall. Oh. Yeah, we're seeing an old video of uh, Tibby Tom pulling his pants down. Hey, uh, Sam, more importantly, is this muster going to be able to perform? I'll find out. Muster, are you going to be able to perform? I'm going to give it a shot. Oh. He's going to give it one more shot. Okay. If you were listening earlier, it didn't work out too well. Uh, I think it's safe to say that I'm going to have to think about doing this CD with mustard. <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry. He's, he's washing his hands. All right. Yeah, that's what we're worrying about. All right. <laughs> we'll see you in a little All bit right, there, Sam. Okay. All right. I'm not going to high-five the guy. No. So should we take another break, and then maybe Muster will, will be back in studio? Uh, what is that? <laughs> that's is it. that what came out of his underwear? Yeah, that's I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. I just gagged a, a little bit <laughs> watching that. It's a piece of quartz. <laughs> it's amazing. Let me see it. It's as hard as a rock. Watch. You'll see. Who it. picked it up with your big... <laughs> Holy what? crap. It's like petrified. I know this. What you did? Wait. Some, oh, we got water. more. Oh, no. What? Soften it up. Ladies and gentlemen. This is Pat Duffy. Pat Duffy. This is Tippy Tom's underwear. No, I watch. heard it. This is... No, I know. It's not bad. It's not bad, my ass. Tippy Tom's underpants mustache. No shit. All right, so we, then we had to put water on the petrified duty, oh, duty to make it liquidly, right. liquidy. We got water in it. All right. Oh, God damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Yeah, we're Whoa. trying to make war paint oh, said. I love the fact that he has a glove on, too. We're ready here. Yeah, I want spring water. Right, you need a mirror? <laughs> no, I think I'm okay. Spring water. It's packed up. I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. And now he makes a mustache. Oh, no. To be Tom's duty. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have nothing on your face, no. though. No. No. Make it do the mustache. You, you gotta make it do the mustache. I want more. Oh, <laughs> He's rubbing it under his nose. No <laughs> that kid would do anything you say. I missed Pat Duffy. But he died from this? No. Good <laughs> 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 You never know it was an Opie and Anthony video, though. No. That's that's already uh, over a year ago. See, now Jesus, Conan did more of that. Uh, yeah, right? He kept his ratings up. <laughs> sure. All right, Sam, where are we at? Sam, I see Mustard is back in the studio. Right now, yeah, that was, that was rough. That was rough. Jesus that, age Christ. That must have got a trillion hits. It got... It, it, Please. Is everybody doing that? It's not that uncommon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Sam. Hi, Mustard. Hey, Mustard's up. Mustard, we're going to give you another shot at this. It didn't work out too well uh, earlier this morning. Was it, was it, was it, was it, was it, that was it, was it, was it, was it, No, it was all right. So I've been, I was, I've been sober since, like, for like nine days or something, and then last night we started drinking again. And so I'm a little too tanked for my own good. Yeah. As it were. Yeah. I wanted so much to come here sober. I did, I did, but it just didn't work out that way. Yeah. yeah. When we make this CD, will you maybe be sober? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't you worry about that. All right. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Because that is a big part of this. It's funny the the stuff I get on the uh, on Facebook and on the internet and stuff. Uh, more than anything else, people ask me about alcoholism and sobriety and that kind of stuff. Did we? Yeah, we did this already. <laughs> did you heard this already? So what happened? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah. What happened? I'm just saying, as far as like you know, I, I as far as like the responses that we're getting on the internet. 
more people ask me about as far as homelessness and all my other shit, right? More people ask me about and talk to me about. Where do you check email from and stuff? Uh, the Apple Store. Oh, really? They don't really let me in the library no more because I, I can't get a library card because I don't have an address. You can't get a library card without an address. So how, do you, how did you get in? So you go to the library and you ask for a guest pass. Oh, I'm not producing no And the librarians are kind of uptight. <laughs> After a few, <laughs> few times, they go, um, I'm not going to give you a guest pass anymore. <laughs> like, uh, okay. So I can't go to the library no more. The replay is going to be very enjoyable for a lot of Just people. Just tell them you they had to return Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the Apple Store. Which one? On Fifth Avenue? This There's is one on Prince price. Street and. Um... This I'm not sure the the same, Prince Street, so. and then there's one on like 10th Avenue. What about the Apple Store way uptown on um, yeah, near uh, Central Park? I think yeah, on Fifth that's, Avenue. That's a little, that's a little out of my range. Where's it? Where's, the, where's I, uh, the Apple Store on 10th? Is it on 9th? 10th no, and 14th like, Street. Yeah, no, it's in the Meatpacking. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Avenue and uh, 14th Street. Yeah, yeah, then you touch. Street. Then you go in and touch that mouse, and then have a croissant. Exactly. All right, Mustard. Oh, well, let's not talk about that. Mustard, you... <laughs> Mustard, you don't do, like, dope or anything, do you? No, 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 sir. No, I do not. Just booze, huh? Yeah. This booze, is all... and I smoke a little weed right. sometimes, but that's fine. A little weed. A little weed. A little weed. All right, I think we're ready to get a song out of Mustard. What do you think, guys? What do you want to sing for us today, Mustard? The intro to More Than a Feeling. <laughs> Baby, 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 how was I supposed to know oh, oh. things are going right here? So baby, 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 huh? Oh, oh, yeah. So go ahead and say, show me what you want me to be. Tell me, cause I got to know now, because... My loneliness scaring me. I must confess I still been laying a bit late. When you're not with me, I lose my mind every time. In my bed, one more time. So baby, 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 the rays that I breathe is you. Oh, now I got me blinded. So baby, 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 there's nothing I could've done. Oh yeah, but now you got me sadness. Show me what you want me to be. Tell me 'cause I got to know now because. My loneliness, I still believe I must go back without a name And I went through it till I lose my mind Every time Hit me, baby, one more time My loneliness, it's killing me, killing me I must go back, I still believe, still believe Well, I'm not with you, I lose my mind Give me a sign Hit me, baby, one more time Yes, sir. That was good. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Little Britney Spears, huh? Yeah. No, the joke here. Look, when I first came to New York, the first gig I ever booked was a show called uh, Songwriters, a songwriters showcase thing. Um, set up by a guy named Paul Alves. Um, and, uh, from that, I got a gig from a, a cover show called, um, Copycat. Um, uh, 14th Bar call, on 14th Street called something. I forget. Um, <laughs> uh, Shrunken Heads. Somebody's Shrunken Heads. I forget who's, but somebody's Shrunken Heads. Um, <laughs> and the, the, the idea is to do covers, do covers against the norm, against what, what one would expect you to be doing, right? So that was like, that was my song, was the song. 
It was a stupid Britney Spears song. And um, so I would do that song in the park, and it was the best. It was so much fun doing that song in the park, because you watch little NYU girls, and they'd be walking by, and they'd be listening, and they'd stop, and they'd stop, and they'd turn to each other, and they'd go, and you could see them mouthing the words, is that fucking Britney Spears? Oh my God, is that fucking Britney Spears? Like they couldn't believe that I was playing a fucking Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. Who are you on Facebook if people want to contact you? Daniel Mustard. Daniel they, Mustard. No, they have been. I've, I've got like 2,000, I've got over 2,000 fans Mustard, now. here's it's the problem. Here's the problem, because we're going to end the show in a little bit, and then you're going to go back to being homeless, and I'm going to go back to my, uh. <laughs> I am still homeless. My, people keep my, asking that question online. Very yes, I am still homeless. Uh, how are we going to keep in touch? How are you going to, like, uh, check your Facebook and stuff? If you're homeless. Yeah, in the Apple Store. God love the Apple people. <laughs> are they cool about you checking it in the Apple store? Sometimes. Some of them, most of them are. Most of them are pretty cool about it. Every once in a while you get some little prick comes over and goes, and, uh, there's, there's a 20 minute limit. I can't like, you know. <laughs> Every once in a while, but mostly. Yeah, but you told me, uh, the last time you were in that you go to the library to check the Facebook. They don't like me in the library no more. There's like three libraries in the area here. There's one on 6th Avenue. There's a guy named Frank, and he's an asshole, and he won't let me go there no more. Wait, why wouldn't they let you in the library? Like, they, it seems they, like anyone could go to the library. I know. That's what I say. <laughs> that's what I tell them. I'm like, public. Do we know what the word public means? Public library. Public library. So why don't you just Can walk you, in there? Um, cause this is, it's the whole deal of the guest pass, is I don't have a library card, cause I can't get a library card, cause I don't have an address. I don't have an address, cause I'm homeless. You go and you ask for a guest pass, which is for people who are out of, from out of town, and I've been here long enough, and they know me well enough to know that I'm I'm here, and they don't want to give me a guest pass no more, yeah. and that's the end of the story. Do you hit all the Apple stores in Manhattan? Well, there's only well, how many? Are there? Only three that I well, know I, of. Well, there's one in my neighborhood. Where is that one, Jimmy? On Fifth Avenue near? There's uh, four in our. There's two in our neighborhood. But there's one the Fifth big one. Avenue in the '60s on Broadway. Yeah, near Central Park. I know the one up by Central Park. Yeah. What's the other one? On Broadway in the 67th. <laughs> it's new. Oh. I don't know that one. Uh, you know, I, I used to stay downtown. We got the one on Prince Street. Guy. We got 10th Avenue. We got the one on the 14th Street. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, someone is writing that uh, they think you know Lady Gaga. Yes, I do. I, I, she's really? Stephanie. Her name is Stephanie, yes. I played a show. The second show I played in New York was, again, the this, this Songwriters from Hell is a, a songwriter showcase. Um, I was number two on the bill. She was the headliner number nine on the bill. Um, yes, I do know. I do know Stephanie. Yeah, yeah I want to see what her vag looks like if she, because people are saying it and she pissed in the sink for me. <laughs> she have a nice vag? It's a, wait, 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 wait. What's, wait, very, what's that about? You can't amongst, just, amongst my, hold on, you can't just say Lady Gaga pissed in the sink for me. Amongst my friends is a very famous story. Um, uh, we were, there's a, a bar I'm not going to name because I don't want people to go. That's the run out of Ajax. It's a great, yeah. fantastic bar. Ludlow Street or something. On right? Ludlow Street. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to name it. Um, uh, a friend of mine, a couple of friends of mine used to work there and we used to go there a lot and uh, get tanked for free. It's always fun when you know the bartender, right? And, um, yeah, yeah, one night, whatever, we went in the ladies room with, with, with Stephanie and me and another friend of mine and she humped, she, she hopped up on the sink, pulled her drawers down, hopped up on the, the counter and pissed in the sink for, you know, whatever. <laughs> she was just being, you know, funky. Hot. As she is. So, uh, so it's not a penis. No, 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 no. no. She's got a she's got a good old fashioned vagina. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't know what this is all about. This whole she's kind of a diet. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I mean, she has a girlfriend. And all she had a girlfriend with her, but um, she's she's not a she's not a hermaphrodite or nothing. No. Wow. <laughs> I can I can I can verify that. Yes. I'd love she to see has, her vag. She has a vag. Yes, it's a beautiful vag. Very very good. Um... Wow, learning a lot today. Why'd uh, you pee in the sink? By the way, how did Danny? How did you say there's only nine something million people in Haiti? Well, I just saw that they have over ten point five million Catholics in Haiti. They can't have that many people down there, can I, I guess. I thought it was I guess wrong. the all-knowing no. uh, Google is wrong. Yes. Huh? I mean, that's according to like Google's like I it was data about statistics. Uh -huh. Really? Think this guy just said over ten point five million Catholics. Unless they maybe they're well, wrong. Well, so yeah, so they're TV all knows Catholic. more. Well, I, I think if Fox News would know more. <laughs> Hey, uh, Mustard, uh, there's something else I want to ask you. He I saw it on the TV. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm Come on, give me some questions. I have answers to give. <laughs> oh, uh, I noticed you got hosp hospital bracelets on again. I always do, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Are those so, new ones? like, about, what was it? Oh, yeah, the whole biting thing. Um, what was it about? Nine, 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 the, the last time, last time I had a drink other than today, um, was rum night, what I refer to rum night. Uh, my, my guitar player, Joel Young, 
and I we got into it. He 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 has this thing for rum. I don't like rum. I like vodka. He likes rum. Uh, so whatever. But he bought <laughs> some big giant bottles of rum one night, and him him and I got really tanked. And apparently, and I don't remember any of this. This is all told to me by somebody else. But apparently, him and I got into Sergeant it. Sergeant from the NYPD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got into it, yes, sorry. And um, apparently, I bit him on the face. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember biting him on the face? I don't know. Uh, but we all went to the hospital. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what was your injury? He's got rabies. I don't know. I don't remember. You know, I don't remember any of it. You know, I remember we sat down one night, and the next morning I woke up covered in blood with and with things hurting. You know, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, and somebody else goes, you know, you you were fighting with Joel last night. I was like, oh really? Was I? I didn't, I didn't know that. Um. Anyway, I haven't seen Joel in a week, and I, he showed up last night and was like, hey, are you right? And he's like, yeah, all right. What's up? He, he, does, he, he doesn't. He doesn't remember either. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it never happened between you two. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, that's weird. It's the beauty of alcohol. <laughs> a lot of people asking how they can get a hold of mustard. Uh, easy. There's a there's this kid Jordan. Hey go, Jordan, go, yo go kid, ahead. shout out. Um. Uh, he he wants to come look for me. Him and his sister, they want to come look for me. So I've been giving him my perimeters. My perimeters again are are, are Broadway, uh, Prince Street, uh, 10th Avenue, and 14th Street. Uh, check the Starbucks. Check the Apple Store. Check the McDonald's. <laughs> you know. But how do they get a hold of you? Uh, Other than that, yeah, I don't really have a. I, you know, I don't have a phone. I don't have a. But I have the email. I have the the Facebook. Facebook. You ever try to order a drink at the Genius Bar? The genius button. No, 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 no. Thank you, Nick. That's in the Apple Store. Uh, right? yeah, yeah. The genius bar. I have no idea. Wait, so you have a Facebook? Oh yeah, yeah. Daniel Mustard. Mm -hmm. I have a MySpace. I have a bunch of fan sites. I have like three or four fans fan sites now. It's killing me. I got three fan. I got. I go back and forth between the Apple stores now these days to check my fucking fan mail. It's killing me. It's killing me. Wait, which which uh, which <laughs> Apple stores? There's no. Again, again, the Prince Street, Prince Street, and um, it's not green. It's just a, it's a block off of Broadway, Prince Street, and I don't forget the All right. forget the cross, and uh, 10th Avenue and 14th Street. And you spend a lot of time in the library, obviously. So not anymore. They won't let me in the library no more. I used to go to the the Sixth Avenue Library. Frank, he won't he he will not let me on. What is? He, What's wrong with Frank? He's an uptight prick. And um, and then there was the Mulberry Street Library, which is actually on Jersey Street. Right. But they call it the Mulberry Street so Library. Frank won't you let we'll They won't let, let me the online library. there anymore either. But um, but they're public libraries, so you should uh, be That's what I say. I'm like, hello, do we know the, word, the so definition what, of the word public? Why don't you try a guest pass? That's... I'm saying, that's oh. what I'm saying. I did that. I worked that. Guest pass. Can I have a guest pass? Um, no, you can't have a guest pass because... Uh, did, did, did. Well, go hang out in the Apple Store. You can hang out there all day. They don't say nothing. Sometimes. Tell him you're there to learn the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey told me to come. But what's the loophole with the public libraries if it's a public library? I don't get it. Because guest pass or guest pass, a guest pass is supposed to be for somebody who's not here. Right. So somebody who's visiting from somewhere else. Right. So. All right, just get a library card then. I, I, I even got one. Without an address, you can't get a library card. I think what? That has to do with Al Qaeda. I'll let you. You got to have an address. You they used to go you. there, and you know, remember they'd use the. Computers. <laughs> Seriously, you're right. Well, and it's just not as that. easy anymore. But you got to have an address. You got to have some sort of a piece of mail. Well, fuck, we're learning something we'll new. It. No library card if you don't have an address. Come on, you got yeah. an old envelope from Con Ed or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, just get a fake address going, and you got your library card. Can I use your address? I'll use your address. Well, <laughs> I like that we keep in touch with email. I kind of like it that way. Shit, yeah, mustard over. You got extra bedrooms. Oh, no. Yeah, don't be selfish, I Ope. No, I'm... Yeah, they're telling me, Opie, Opie, there's this people <laughs> online, they're all about it. Like, hey, that motherfucker should put you up, man. What uh, the fuck? How you still living on the streets? <laughs> Can you, you give want... me the names of those people? Because I'm. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to die I'm some visit some, those some sad people. tragic figure, man. Exactly. Come on, I, I might freeze. You know, it's below zero temperatures out there these days, and I'm. I'm, I'm I hear you. If I freeze to death, you. you well, you did nobody, write me. Nobody records nothing. You wrote me. You were excited that you were sober, but. I guess you're not sober, but that's okay. You're working on it. I, I understand. That's it's a, push and pull, give and take. Yeah, that's something that's going to take some time. <laughs> Look, you try being sober on the streets. You give that a shot. You yeah. give me some place to be, I'll be sober. Don't worry about it. No, we got a recording studio in Brooklyn. It's, it's um, going to happen. So, you know, we'll just... When? <laughs> um, 
Wow, when? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I survive long enough. That's what? the question I'm looking at right now, and I'm not kidding, OP. Well, you have all the am time. I gonna, am I going to live long enough to make it to this recording well, session? You have all the time in the world, and I'm a very busy but I don't. man. But I'm going to find some time for the mustard, the mustard man. The question is whether or not I'm going to live long enough to get there. I hear you do a um, an amazing cover of uh, Britney Spears. Yeah, we did that already. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 all right. Should we take a break? Yeah, all right. I'm tired. I'm Why are you tired, it. Jimmy? You said you were, like, fresh today. I know, but I'm not tired until we 9. we got a homeless guy with a tuba waiting to come in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the great uh, mustard. And how do they get a hold of you? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Daniel Facebook. Mustard on Facebook, right? Yeah. You're getting a lot of friend uh, requests? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got 2,000 friends, for Christ's sake. How many? Is it really that high? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I started out with like 12. <laughs> now I have 2,000. You lost 10,000? Um, what? Oh, 12. I didn't yeah. No, I started that. out with like 12. No, like 12. And now I'm about 2,000. Um, yeah, I know. It's crazy. I spent all day chatting with people from all over the world. Istanbul, Dublin. Well, actually, people want to talk to you. We have headphones for Mustard. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you after the to show today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Only the best for him. Jesus, where'd you find Jesus those fucking Christ. Christ. Well, we those, are, those are the homeless what headphones. Are, what are those real- <laughs> we got actual homeless, those are homeless headphones. What are those realistic? I need some headphones. Can I have these? You can have them. Let's go to the phone. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Nick in Virginia. Nick. Hi. Hey, good evening. What's up, Nick? Hey, Nick. Hey, I just want to tell Monster Man, he's got to clean up his act, man. Get sober. Me and my girlfriend... Listen to Creep all the time, dude. He's the best. Monster Man, clean up your act, dog. Come on, make a CD. Yeah, we're going to make a CD. I'll give it a shot. Man, we love you, Monster. Keep up the good work, buddy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right, punch it out. All right, sir. Yeah, see, you got fans out there. I know. I got a lot of this. Uh, let me say hi to Kevin in Connecticut. Kevin. Good morning, guys. Hey. Hey, Mustard. Yeah. What do you do when you're not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy? <laughs> kind of looks like Brian Dennehy. A no, younger version. Doesn't. Not at all. Matter of fact, is anybody on the Europe that doesn't look like Brian I'd say it'd be him. Yeah. Let's say <laughs> hi to Mark in DC. Mark. He looks more like. Uh, <laughs> guy looks more like. I mean, I should be Brian. Doing. You know, sort of Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Brian uh, Wilson. <laughs> Brian Brown. Now, yeah. that I, now that I see a picture he of Brian. He sounds like Tarantino, though. He's going to turn. Little yeah, Tarantino my action. sister yeah. says it. Let's go to uh, Mark in D.C. Mark. He's a okay, you got to produce the CD, take all of the money, and then just keep promising that one day you'll produce a CD. Hey, that's not a bad idea. That's what Sirius is doing to you. <laughs> Same oh. fucking deal. Uh, let's say hi to uh, Chisel, the trucker. Chisel. Hey, what's going on, Mustard, you guys? Hey, man. Mustard. Hey, I was just wondering if you could do Ring yeah. Red Ship again before you leave. Well, he did an amazing version. It's on my YouTube channel, Opie Radio. It's right there if you want to check it out. Um, maybe we get another song out of him. You want one more muscle? You know any today? Black Sabbath? Yeah. Do you know any other really? You said you yeah, do. Uh, yeah, I can. I can sing you a hundred fucking songs. I just don't know how to play them on the guitar. I'm not really a guitar player, you know. I tried to bring a guitar player with me, but they wouldn't let me because we only had. They so wouldn't. Many they wouldn't let him in. Yeah. That's good. <sighs> That's cool. All right, should we take a break? <laughs> Buster, you want to play us to break with anything? You don't have to. Let me think now. Let me think. Hey, here's an old song. You're playing an old song. All right, good. He's going to play an old song. I like his old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
never really landed, na na na, I never did so far. But I'm fine, living now without you all the time. Grown accustomed to this domestic strife, and this noise in my side. As subtle as a fingertip Drifting down the ocean swing It's like some best before me Na 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 never fit so far Oh, I might I think we like It's a drum that we fell so fast Give me in my future, yeah, but get me in my pain. And I find sentimental things that all the time tripped on in and I in this I'm left to roam and Accustomed to this old man's drive And his thorns, it stuck in my side Something to forgive me about I should have left my sides behind I, I should have thought of something I couldn't think it out <laughs> Homeless yeah. Mustard. Yeah. Uh, Nick DiPaolo in studio playing comics next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll continue in just a bit. Stay there. We've got Nick DiPaolo and Jim Norton in today. And, uh, well, Jim's here most days. And, uh, all kidding aside, because there's, there's just douchebags that listen to the show, to be quite honest with you. Yep. Uh, all kidding aside, I will fucking produce something for Mustard. So relax. We're having fun with the fucking guy today, you know. You, and in the why end, why and in the end, he performed. He, he, we got two really good songs out of him today. Uh, I, I asked Nick during the break. I go, "Hey, have you seen Avatar?" And he goes, "Are you fucking kidding me? All angry? Ugh. You wouldn't see that shit, right?" Fucking horseshit. That's for nerdy cocksuckers. But there's a lot of nerdy put, cocksuckers seeing this. Though. Yeah, and I heard that they they lay like a liberal fucking. It's kind of like a subtext of the Iraq War, where America's the best. Fuck you, James you know Cameron, what? you fucking faggot. You know what? You, you speak the truth. There <laughs> tell, is... tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, you nerdy... <laughs> There's a little of that in there, Nick. You're kind of right. God didn't get stink finger until he's 42. I hate him social message like that. It's, it's always a, yeah, the same hide message. behind it with cartoons, you puss. There, always the same message. There is a social message in there. Yeah. Humans Here's are bad. Message. Americans in particular, even though I don't think they yeah. come out yeah. and say it's uh, the Americans that are pretty much uh, destroying the, the people of... Uh, 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 yeah. uh, Pandora. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> and then Nick goes, I haven't even seen fucking Star Wars. Ugh. Now you're a communist. Yeah, that's Fuck a good that. movie. No, it isn't. Why it's isn't Star Wars a good movie? I'm not going to watch a movie? bowling trophy talk to a refrigerator on wheels. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't fucking... Is that, the world is interesting enough. I hate fucking fiction. I don't read fiction books. The world's interesting enough. You don't watch... <laughs> do you watch action fucking, movies? <laughs> You watch action movies, Nick? No, they bore the shit. Do you out like of the me. Terminator and Terminator Two? Couple of action. I'm not a big action Terminator, movie guy. Terminator Two. Ter uh, and uh, you know. What's your favorite type of movie? You know, Gone with the Wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comedies. <laughs> Yeah, no, com no, comedies suck at dick yeah, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, they do for the most part. No, I What like... was the last uh, good comedy you saw? Last good comedy I saw was uh, Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock. No, I don't. You don't know either? <laughs> I are haven't seen it. These are just I'm questions. Not... I know. You don't go to the theater I saw much. Bruno, you know. Oh, how, how was, was that? Bruno? They mail... Again, funny. Once again, though, he gets all, you know, gets all ballsy until it's time to make a final black people, and then he... Then he bails. The liberal fucking Did he not do it? Well, he did in kind of a way. He were, you know, he went on a talk show and pretended he had adopted a black. Oh, right, right, right. But that but was all set up, obviously. Yeah, he doesn't. That was one of the set up scenes. 
But uh, that was, you know, he's always good for for a laugh. But look, no, comic, uh, you know, you see, I a good draw. You know, what's the best movie I've seen. Hmm. Cause you know how SAG mails these things to you. Do you get those in a mail, Jimmy? Yes. Or whatever. Right as guilt. Yeah, where they come from. But Crazy Heart. Oh, I want to see love, that. First of all, I love Jeff Bridges and everything he does. And, yes. And when I just saw the when I just saw the cover of the DVD, I'm like, this is going to be. You knew it was going to be good. And it was as good as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the fucking preview looks good. He's. Is I it mean, in theaters yet? I think it did. I think come it just out. popped I think in. It just maybe popped. last Friday. I'm gonna go check that one out. I, I love Jeff Bridges. Good. Too. He, what does he play? Like a down and out, like country, it, yeah, western singer. It's sort of based, in a small town. Yeah, the, the kid that it was a kid that wrote it was his first movie. It's, it's based on a novel. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like based on Merle Haggard, Chris Christopherson, and I don't know, yeah, Hank William. I don't know. Three. He kind of blended the three. Tremendous. It's sort of, especially being a comic, you can relate. Like the pulling into a town in Texas at noontime and, mm. you know, going over to the club in the afternoon. And just, Getting real depressed. Yeah. And he's like, uh, it, it's uh, yeah. tremendous. Oh, very cool. Tremendous. I, I, want, I, I watched it. I wanted to watch it again. You see Up in the Air? I saw Up in the Air. What do you think? I saw it, too. Again, here's what the What do you thing. think? Because, I'll tell you, because the people that, I know the agenda of the people that fucking run Hollywood and make these fucking movies. The first hour of Up in the Air, Cloney's character is a guy, and, he, and he's, he's, you know, telling girls how it is, and he's winning all a the man's argument. Man. A man's man. And just I said to my wife, his character is going to get fucked in the end. And you just, just Just from political correctness, yes. Just from I know the agenda of the people that write this shit. The guy is not going to have the last say. And sure enough, mm -hmm. I mean, I can see it coming. You know, it's like they I, tip their hand. They're so predictable. I thought it was a good movie, but it's... It, it's it it's not a great been. movie, no, right? Not. Are right, they saying it's a great movie? Yeah, they What's are. What's it called? Oscar shit. Up in the air. Up in the air. I right. might have that. They might have sent me that. It's 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 Jimmy, fine. You, for your consideration, Jimmy, with all the travel, yeah. <laughs> with all the exactly. traveling you you do, you probably would be. I don't know. I tour a little bit, relate a little bit. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. What else did I see? Here? Going, for, going for status with the airlines, and uh, it's not, it's that whole world. Doesn't like living in. In his uh, in his house, he likes just being on the road. He he lives his life on the road, man. But of course, you know a woman has to straighten him out. Has and that wasn't her ass in the movie. Of course not. Of course, it was a stunt ass. What what's wrong, Keith? We're talking movies now. I'm I'm trying to do something. Today. What what, uh, what was the other one? They got a shitload of them. No, no nothing against you. What? Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. No, hey, I just you, no. You walked in all depressed. No, no, he, he was just laughing because he we came back from the bathroom and he was kind of beat, but then. An hour ago, he had 93 friend requests on Facebook, and now he has 259 or something like that. Right. Yeah. So he's okay. Now, well, now he's in a good mood again. And he's he's scared that he's going to become a joke on this show because he heard the Tippy Tom piece going into break. Where would he get that idea? Just because you pulled out a crusty rock out of a homeless guy's <laughs> ass? <laughs> but that was Tippy Tom. He was like kind of a, a he was a comedian. He was in his a own comedian. right. Exactly. Yeah. And he and went with all that shit. Can he, I make a suggestion for Tippy Tom? Maybe a few more liquids in his diet. Well, he's dead. He's oh, is dead. he? Yeah. Right, well. Awkward. Awkward? Why is it awkward? <laughs> a guy with a rock in his pants and he's dead? What the fuck? Oh, what a shock. Uh, I don't care if you know him or not. <laughs> he was actually, he was actually uh, died of uh, natural causes. Yeah, natural causes. If, you know, head laying in your own fucking feces. His head hit a curb. Yeah, he fell down. Yeah. Oh, and did he? No, I And then bad. a delivery truck ran over his uh, skull. No. Oh. No. No. That's what I heard. Is that right? Well, mm -hmm. he died doing what he loved, being dragged under a UPS truck. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the dying, doing what he loves. I'm sorry, thing. I can't walk with compassion for anybody. Because there's no, you don't, you don't die nicely. So even if you're doing your favorite activity, it's still horrific. So stop with this. You know, he died doing what he loved doing. Well, I, still I had a principal that. that died scuba diving. Out, out, way out on Long Island somewhere, and they said that to us. Yeah, he died. You know, he died. He loved. Oh, really? And then oh, you really turn him purple at 150 feet <laughs> right. with a couple of seals around him, <laughs> right? Stuck on something that he can't get out of. Yeah, that's 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 great. Thanks. With his hand caught in a lobster <laughs> trap. Yeah, right. That's what he loved to do. Exactly. Screaming for his life. Yeah. Exactly. That's what he loved to do. He loved to look up and see the sky and the clouds that he couldn't reach. <laughs> right. As he's gasping for air that's just not there. Do you know how you die doing what you love? <laughs> If, like, you have your face in a pussy, and all of a sudden your head just explodes, <laughs> then you die doing what you Instantly. love. Instantly. Yeah. Remember Art Got Donovan, it. the football player? I know. The old guy that was on Letterman all the time? Yeah, the of play course. For the He's dead? No, but he said that's the way he wants to die. Dave goes, Honey. he goes, so, this is how I want to die. Nice hot summer day. I want to find a tree, sit under it, 
with uh, three cases of beer and 150 hot dogs and just eat them all till I explode. That's <laughs> that's 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 better. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect way to go. I, I used to love that guy, Letterman. I forgot oh, all about him. He was, he was a fucking funny dude. Oh, man. Old, just uh, football player. Does he still go on? Or World War II. He's got to be older than fucking... You don't remember him? I know the name. I don't remember. If you, you saw him, If you, you saw would. a clip, he's got to be easily 80. Told the greatest stories, you know? Yeah, he okay. just had a great sense of humor. It, Speaking of a, a great uh, storyteller, this Andy Rooney's 91 years old today, so... Is he 91? Another one. Veteran WW. He's probably Civil War too. Yeah, he's an old man. Uh, buttons. I hate buttons. So does uh, so does Mustard know we're not going to make him into a joke there? Yeah, I, I was trying to explain that to him. Like like you well, said. Well, he kind of uh, fell apart early this morning. We had to go with that. Yeah. He couldn't figure out how to play any music this now, morning. Now, how can I make money off this guy? Uh, you want in? <laughs> you want to buy in or what? You want to buy yeah, in? Yeah, I a want a piece. Bit? A little piece. You want a little yeah. action on the yeah. mustard? Like he, he he's upset with himself that he he was drinking this morning. He he feels it if he came in sober, he probably would have done a lot better. I yeah. gotta disagree. That he probably would have sucked. What is Good this point. fucking grump want from us? Well, he's still every the worst. fucking day he glares at us. He's knocking on the, the door and saying hi. Then you fuck. Who is he? He works here. He's, he's just, it, he used to be one of us, like an edgy talk show guy, and now he Who has a problem with us. Alex Bennett. I'll say his fucking name. Alex Bennett from San Francisco. Yes, that's yes. him. He he hates us. Just stares in every time he walks by. And then he went to uh, he went to some people behind human our resources. Back. Was it officially human resources? I think so. Yeah, I remember him in uh, San Francisco. Yeah, I did a show many times. He understands how this shit works, but now he's a grumpy old man that fucking glares at us every day. <laughs> every day, you saw it, right? This Nick? is his old studio. Yeah, I... we took his old studio, and so he he took a couple shots at us on the air. So we fucking beat the shit out of him. And, then, and uh, he didn't like it, and he went and complained because we were making fun of him. Yeah, he was scared or something, and I don't, I don't know what it was. That's San Francisco, you know how they. But it's just annoying that if, you know you get it, and then all of a sudden they ask us, "Hey, could you guys not anymore?" And we're like, "All right, fine." So we've left him alone, but now he has to. Walk every day by, when he walks by, he glares in the he studio. Glares at us, so he can do what he but wants. When, but you when, can't retell. When the whole thing went down, you know, he was nowhere to be seen. He was like walking around and stuff because I guess he was scared of us. Not that he was. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck it was, but then. After he got, uh, you know, management involved, now he comes by and just glares at us every yeah, day. Yeah, and it's like it's almost like, and then if we say something, because when you when you just look at people, you go plausible deniability. I didn't do anything, you know. It, it's <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man, you yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, it's a nice phrase. Oh, Keith, Keith Carradine uh, died doing what he loved. Yeah, that worked. David out for Carradine. Him. David Carradine. Oh, it was David. I'm sorry, Scott yes. Brown in uh, Flint, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. David, coming on David his stockings, yes. coming on his fishnet stockings, <laughs> tied up in a closet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that was a terrific death for him. Well, an Ecuadorian vacuum three <laughs> feet away. Right. <laughs> what else? I think we're just about done. We got a Marine leaving for Haiti tomorrow. Holy well, that's shit. better than fucking Fallujah. This is no time to attack Haiti, guys. Let's go to Tim in I North Carolina. It's a <laughs> <laughs> well, perfect how much would the world hate the U.S. if we attacked Haiti? <laughs> it's a perfect time. We got them right where we we want them. Uh, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, Jesus, can you we're just a bunch of dicks. Just invading Haiti. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so you guys are going tomorrow? What are you going to steal? The gold team? We trick them. We make believe we're going there to help them. But <laughs> in reality, we're just, it's now ours. Uh, Tim, yes. You're doing the right thing tomorrow, huh? Thanks. Yeah. You guys there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I just wanted to give you guys a little perspective on what's going on. We actually just got the word yesterday that we were late, uh, leaving. And uh, we just got back from a deployment uh, in December, and we just got word yesterday that we were leaving Friday to go. What are you going to so do down I just there? Wanna, uh, we're, we're not exactly sure. Just uh, try to hold down the uh, the airport, the uh, main airport there, uh, and just trying to uh, support that. And then also going out and um, just, you know, digging up piles of uh, debris, I guess. So we're not exactly sure. Like I said, we just uh, we just got word yesterday. Where'd you just get back from, Tim? Uh, we were on a uh, on a ship for seven months, uh, just cruising around the world. Uh huh. So, Ro Rosie O'Donnell. Of, this is, this is last, uh, <laughs> it's a really good line from there. Years. All right, Tim. Well, uh, well, why don't you give us a little report if you can when you get back or yeah, while you're down there? All right. Stay yeah, safe, yeah. Semper Fi, baby. There you go. All right, thank you. Hey, uh, off my uh, Twitter, Ryan in Worcester writes, line of the day goes to Nick DiPaolo. 
Well, I'm a guest. You have to get. <laughs> well, he writes, I'm not going to watch a movie where a bowling trophy talks to a refrigerator. That was funny. <laughs> and then writes, brilliant. Brilliant. I don't even know what it means, but somebody laughed at it. And uh, Nick's going to be at Comics next uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here in New York City. Comics is a nice little comedy club. It's I a like very that nice club. If they control the drunks that wander in there. Oh, do they the really? Packing. Well, it's in the weird days. area. It is. It's in the party district. It's in a it's party a great district. great club. Physically perfect. And they're really into comedy down there. They have the chicken fingers and the clam plate. Do they treat you good there? They do. Absolutely. So, uh, so what happened when you had incidents? I mean, to the point where not, not, you know, the people were asked to leave. They, they, but it was like a guy and his mother. They were hillbillies. She was literally missing her two front teeth, like Jack Lambert, and she's fighting with her. She keeps yelling shit out at me. How she wants to have sex with me. Then, then it turns out it's the son she's fighting with at the table. And of course, with three minutes left in my set, then you know they yeah. flushed them. Oh, that's wonderful. But, uh, but no, it's, that club is, is beautifully designed. Yeah, beautifully. Designed. I like comics. Hey, uh, absolutely. Speaking of death, let's not forget that we lost uh, Teddy uh, Pendergrass. Oh, did he die? I didn't know that. I was telling uh, Nick the story of Teddy. He uh, he was like one of these fucking soul singing yeah, studs. Yeah, all the women. And, and then he's uh, he's rehearsing one day, and the, something from the lighting above him falls and fucking fucking paralyzes him. And then he's in a wheelchair for the last twenty five years of oh. his life, or something like that. Remember, like, and I, I told Opie it was like uh, in Scarface when they <laughs> at the uh, club the Babylon falls down the Babylon Club. Yeah. The lighting fell. Mm. I thought it was a car accident. I was thinking Pendergrass. Uh, no, no, because I think you might be mixing them up. The guy who got paralyzed by the light was. Uh, Wait, was it a car accident? It might have been. Yeah, it, it was a car accident. Wait, don't oh, tell who's me. Who's the guy with the fucking? Begins, there's an R in it. Ray or Rudy or. Uh, uh, Rudy Tomjanovich. No, she's dead. Well, it sucks. They all look the same. I thought it was the same guy. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> come on! Oh you know. gee, come on, Ope. Just out of respect to Haiti. You got now, who the fuck was the guy who uh, had the the lighting fixture hit hit him on the head? I keep thinking Rudy Ray Moore, which is dumb. Oh. Mike, which is wrong. Um, I know who it is. That was you I'm, know who I'm telling that whole story. Ray, uh, from this old house, Abrams. <laughs> but wait, Ray. Ray Mustard. It wasn't Ray. <laughs> it might have been Maywood. Oh, oh, uh, not, not Ray. Ray. Maywood. There's this man thinking of Maywood. Curtis Maywood. Curtis something. Curtis. Uh, I'm going to go with Curtis. Yeah, I, think Curtis, Curtis. May, I almost said Curtis Mayfly. <laughs> Mayfield? Curtis Mayfly. Curtis Mayfield. Mayfield? Uh, Curtis, Curtis Mayfield. Mayfield. I, how did I mix those two stories up? Yeah, he had the lighting. He was paralyzed, I think, from the Teddy had the fucking car accident. All right. Yeah, I'm Teddy sorry. had the car accident. Curtis accent. Mayfield. Yeah. Teddy, that's Teddy was backing out of an Applebee's. And Teddy fucking was in the car. All right. I'm sorry. What right. the fuck do I know? And he died uh, today. I wasn't prepared for his death today. I'm sorry. Is that it? We yeah, get one out? More, tomorrow morning, ten o'clock. Tickets on sale for March sixth in Washington D.C. area, Falls Church, Virginia State Theater. Oh, and the creator of uh, SpaghettiOs dies at the age of eighty-three. Very uh, tragic. Uh, Should have died at twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking horrible. Lock yeah, my people. So it's a great. It's a great healthy meal. SpaghettiOs. They never bring up reflux. Horrendous. Got enough preservatives in there, right on my ass in a week. I, like the, I was a fan of the canned uh, ravioli myself. I love canned ravioli. My brother, too. I was a big fan of that. When you're poor, that you shit was good. You can eat that good. stuff cold. It's good. You get that fucking Frank's, you pop that on there, and it's <laughs> it's like a gourmet pasta dinner. Hey, wish me luck in my stomach scoping. <laughs> yeah, what's that about? You guys could be joking about me in six months. What are they, what's going on with you? Well, they're trying to find out. So yeah, but what are your symptoms? Oh, I don't know. A little blood in the stool and slapping my puppy. Do you really know. have blood in the stool? No, no. You don't but, have the blood, uh, right? No, I've got serious stomach pain. Acid reflux. Feels like a heart attack sometimes. Nah, I, I, I got a feeling. I thought I had the hiatal hernia thing diagnosed 10 years ago, but uh, something still hurting like a mother down there. And uh, Maybe an ulcer. I, I'm, I'm You're guessing, a very angry man. Well, not anymore. I've really mellowed out. <laughs> since, <laughs> yeah, since Mayfield got that lamp on the head. I really chilled out. But, uh, You're very agitated. So maybe you, but no, maybe you got I, I am. I'm like, I'm like Jack Walsh in fucking Midnight uh, Run. You know? I'm oh, gonna go. will you stop? <laughs> What do you live on? Egg salad and fucking cat urine? Holy fuck. Mellow out. Mellow out. You got He's stomach, shitting over you got here. stomach you know, issues. Mellow out. When when Norton farts, it's like a piece of shit on my upper lip, for Christ's sake. You don't have Holy fuck it. It's like Saren, you're going to kill curds with that shit. Jimmy Jimmy once got mad at me because I got angry at his fart. I'm like, oh, why are you angry at me? <laughs> These things are putrid. They're lovely. They're putrid. What could it be? Uh... What do you have? I don't know. 
Tell me. I love your food column. I just had sushi last night. <laughs> I'm a fan sushi. of Jimmy. Well, hold on, Nick. I'm a fan of Jimmy's food combos. Yeah. Listen to the combination. I actually eat much animal I eats. I just I eat sushi and two cookies. I didn't have a bad dinner <laughs> and a little milk. Oh, oh yeah, I did have cheese before I did red eye. <laughs> See, I was cheese. clearing my throat the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> cheese, sushi, and what kind of cookies? Two like chocolate chip ones. They're uh, small though. For the love of fucking Christ! <laughs> and it hangs around like it's got legs. Exactly, on it. it does. It lingers. <laughs> It's got a nice, uh... It's in my clothes. It's got a nice bouquet. Nice. It has legs. Tippy Tom's ass. So you're getting better. scoped, huh? I got scoped yeah. recently. What the fuck is that propofol all about? That a, I said it once. It, 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 you, you realize that you just die. Don't say that. You just realize you die. No, not from the... But the, they knock you out. I'm like, all right, what happened? Why do well, I, I don't have, have any memory have of that? Why do I my side for this? That's my question. Last time I had it done, I sat in a chair. I was on my side, too. What the fuck is That's that That's just about? the way your intestines rest the best. Well, it's the way your stomach goes, actually. It bends to the... You know how you always see that diagram, yeah. and it goes this... Maybe yeah. you hope you don't have... Uh, I wanted to sit in a chair. What's the, the thing? TV guy in my hand. Where you shit liquidy, and you have to shit immediately? Oh, uh, yeah. Like early dumping? Uh -huh. No, no, no. What's it called when you have to, oh, shit, uh, have to shit? Well, uh, you get spastic colon, diverticulitis, Crohn's. No, it's not Crohn's. No, no, it's serious Crohn's. It's the stuff you drink? No, 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 no. It's, uh, what's that call when you gotta pull over and shit immediately? Uh, explosive, explosive diarrhea. diarrhea. No, no, no. What's, <laughs> it's what's, only dumping. what's the Some stomach time. called? It's oh, uh, irritable bowel syndrome? IBS. It's not all IBS. Kind of tied in. No. GPS? No. Now, GPS helps you find, you know, wherever you go to the bathroom, helps you find a location. Help you find a toilet. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, too much cum in your stomach? No, oh, no, no. I didn't, I, I didn't say what is the sign of a great evening. <laughs> <laughs> what is, uh,. Old bleach breath. <laughs> what the fuck is it? God. Colitis. 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 Yeah, they're all... I don't think it's any of that. I I'm hoping they say it's that hiatal hernia that I was dying, that it's yeah. acting up. That's just scary. But I had this thing. See, in October, for almost a month, I had this... Uh, every time I ate, I had a run of the bat. It was going... And I let it go for like a month. I thought it was like a stomach virus. And then they thought it might be a parasite or microprobe. And this guy put me on this stuff, Flagyl, whatever, mm -hmm. for like 10 days. And it worked. It killed whatever was alive Good, in me. Yeah. You had a parasite? They, they, they we didn't confirm that, but there was something alive in there. And, and But I had this pain back then with it. And, and that Flagyl killed it. It got rid of all the bloating and diarrhea, and I felt great. Right. But the pain never went away. Huh. It's the same thing. Uh, I bet you it's a herniated thing. Got a little worse, unfortunately, maybe. maybe. maybe but I'm no fucking doctor. We can get Dr. Steve on. He's good at this shit. I can't. Show. I got to get out of here. I got to go all the oh, way you up. Gotta go. I got to walk to my car, and then I got to uh, fucking go up there and over there. Well, good joint, luck. And I'm meet, meeting uh, Mustard for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, It's just creepy. At the that, library. Dude, it's creepy. Before the procedure, they're talking to you, and then they go, enjoy your sleep. You kind of hear the word sleep. Next thing you know, you're in the fucking you know, I know, you recovery up. room. Like, I know. What the fuck is that? I know. Have you been knocked out, Jimmy? Sure, I have my. Uh, oh yeah, you had many those times, thing. dude. Many times. Does it creep you out when you wake up? I love it. I mean, I get nauseous. But well, does it creep my... you out no. that you have no memory, it's not even so like some quick. weird spiritual fucking memory? This is memory only a 15 minute procedure, they say. Yeah. You know, but I can't drive after. But I'm going to drive anyway because it's fun. Uh, I drive on propofol. Yeah. <laughs> See if you pulled over, get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> Why is that going to Can't help it. Chip just pops up. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I think that's about it. You like him, Chip, aren't you, Dan? I love Chip. Uh, <laughs> fun. Oh, sorry. Lyle Delmar Chipperson is the greatest thing to ever happen to this radio program. Yeah, I don't. I don't disagree. Fontaine, Fontaine of Virginia. Hey, right there. Hey, boy. Hey. Hi. Hey, I want to wish my buddy Nick DiPaolo, um a uh, healthy. Whatever he's going through today, I, I feel for you. But I wanted to tell him that I love him to death. I've been a big Nick DiPaolo fan. I don't know how many fans you have named Fontaine Nick. But <laughs> Fontaine, but what's this, up, baby? Uh, I love you, buddy. I remember back in the day when you used to do the bit about Mariah Carey sounding like a cooler <laughs> and the, uh, the monkey brain on a car battery. And oh, yeah. Subway. The fucking black community loves you, you racist ass. They do, though, don't they? Because you're honest. Yeah. They do. They like where the white. They like people who go, hey, here's where I stand. They fight. The comedy cell the other night, there's a table, but they were fun. Me and them were connecting on a different level. Than really? The white people were, like, staring at us. Oh, that's And right. they were fucking... I go to the white people, why do you pretend... I go, even whether you like black people or not, they're going to hate your guts. So why are you fucking... Yeah. <laughs> and they thought that was the funniest thing in the world. It's they like you because you're honest. That's there's right. No about you. 
Thank black you. people like and when that's I, why so, I like black people. When I look at the audience, I'll say sometimes like, uh, you know what, man, this our no, blood's all the, the same color. And they like when I say that. <laughs> Fonte, thank you. Hey, Jimmy's going to be thanks, in D.C., aren't you? Yes, December hey, 6th. Hey, 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 wait, March yes, 6th. Fontaine. <laughs> yes, Fonte. Yes, Fonte. He's just trying to get you there. Ron in New York, you got the last word. What do you got? What do you mean? I think you like me. Hey, good Not morning, Hope. Hey, Ronnie. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you. Nick. Hey, hey, listen, I'm happy birthday. Uh I own a small business, an investigative company. Yeah. And I don't see why we couldn't put a trust fund with enough attorneys that we have out here and everyone else to get Mustard uh, straight into a uh, somewhat of a apartment up there. Well, Mustard has to you wanted to uh, do. you do-gooder. Let him die in the street. No, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just Fuck a Mustard. Off. He made bad decisions in his life, and he's where he's at because he drinks. Fuck, haven't we all? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Nobody came and helped me the fuck out. I pull myself up. Dad, same here. I, I agree Three. with right, you. Right, Ronnie? Two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and down goes Nick. Down goes Nick. Did you get that? Down something? goes Nick. <laughs> you know, Nick's putting his coat on. I think that's it for today. All right, guys. We had fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nick DePaulo, thank you. Comics next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, thank you, guys. And as far as, uh, this could make a difference. As far as the inner tubes go, what do you want to promote? The most. You don't really care about the Twitter yet. Anything? Nick Dip. Uh, let's go Nick with Nick Dip. Com. Yeah, let's go with that. Nick Got a Dip. DVD dot com. Out soon. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I would like I to see it. I did it. It was a week before Jimmy was at uh, in Boston. I'd like to see I'm that. I will, but yeah. Oh, it's a good room. <laughs> okay. Mustard, thanks for coming in. Oh, my God. Have well, fun. We'll put up uh, the Mustard videos today on the, uh, I don't know, the my YouTube me. channel, Opie Radio. Opie Radio on Twitter. And uh, Jimmy. Cleveland show goes on on sale, or we go with that? DC's tomorrow morning on sale. Cleveland is already uh, selling very well. One night at the House of Blues, February 26th. That House of Blues out. is a great place to come. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank Bye. you.